<laughs> that I've is seen me. That so no, much. no! He did it again! He just knocks Eco to no shield. Eco buying oh. so much time! I guess Formal has the sniper rifle quite Ooh. rightly again. Game number one. Here we go then, Fort Worth. It's a Sunday night. You know what that means. It's grand final time. Let's not forget the last time we saw these two teams play in this tournament alone, it went to a game number five, a 50-47 game number five. We are undoubtedly in for a treat here in your grand finals at the Fort Worth Major. Sure, you're gonna get that nice kill early on, but under a lot of pressure at the moment, but he comes out of it, not only with the camo, but with a double kill himself. Still with shield, still inside of that hill. And what a start this is for Optic Gaming. Getting hold of that power up, and most importantly, a little bit of early hill time as well. We're playing the slow. Knows he has a lot of responsibility and really nicely isolates that 1v1. Here he comes around the corner again. He goes flying in, has that repulse, which just helps him out of that situation. As soon as he saw the flare of the camo, he knew that he could just send him back into the nether realm. And now it takes on APG as well. A little bit of help comes in there from Penguin. As now we see it from Space Station just eke out a little bit of a lead. Optic Gaming trapped on the respawn by the pipes. How fitting is it with the chaos of this season and this event that here we would be, these two teams, your Halo World Championship Grand Finals in 2022. These two teams back on your main stage in the Grand Finals. It feels like all things were pointed this way, regardless of how the season went. A few extra points here on the board for Space Station off the first hill. Back and forth, back and forth at the moment. Bound the only player in the lobby who has yet to register a kill at this point. And of course, it was only a month or so ago that he picked up his first trophy. So to be back in a grand finals once again, he's got the chance to double up. See what Lucy can do from top gold. All eight players alive on the map here. Both teams just about tied here at the 50% mark on this first hill. Lucy looking to break the C flat hold at the moment. Beautiful shots. Can he stay alive though? That's the question. The answer is no. Optic Gaming find themselves four dead, and Stella steps inside of that hill. Trippy trying to escape those elevator spawns, but here comes the rest of Space Station to hold off this push from Optic. Where does the first kill go? Notice how Trippy does not challenge right away. Trippy goes tower instead. Kills traded out early on here, 3v3. Trippy's gonna be weak. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter if he's weak, because he's found himself a shock rifle. And that evens it up. Space Station just about managed to convert that hill, though it will be 1-0 to the team who are dressed in red. Despite the kill, despite the chaos there, Trippy did well to get the tower and to hit that shot from the crates. However, Space Station will get your first kill on the board. Really hot start this from Trippy. 10-3 already. Eco picks up a double kill himself, though, and it looks like Space Station will now have control of the map once more. Set to up. Here, just outside of blue. Second hill completely locked down for them at the moment. And again, Optic just trapped in and around Turbine. Let's also not forget here, if you're just joining us, welcome to the Grand Final. Space Station coming from the elimination bracket, meaning just like the Halo World Championship, they will need to win two back-to-back. -back. Best of seven in order to take this event. Three did here for Space Station. Optic get the break. Spawns are coming in over at goal, so Stella has to be dealt with here. And oh my goodness, luckily they're for formal, even though the shots were pretty good. APG that was there to help him out with a little bit of assistance to make sure that Stella wasn't too much of a problem. Kills falling in the favor now of Optic Gaming. They're getting control of the map, but Penguin somehow scuffs away. How about Trippy at 13 and 5? Almost, oh, look at these shots of Formal almost turns two there. Trippy's 13 and 5. He's almost doubling everyone else in the game in the kills category. He's starting to get a little bit scrappy here. Nobody able to get full map control. It's Trippy, last player alive for Optic has an impact on the map. Formal will pick up and get another one. And look, that's Spawn now coming in for Lucid. He'll be able to play the back of Silo and he'll be able to support his teammate as Optic Gaming now look to go into a lead on this second hill. Camo coming up in around 15 seconds or so, so look for the attention of both teams to turn towards that. It's a dangerous position here for Optic. They need to hold back Hydro. They're too dead. Enemy team. And man advantage here for SSG. 
APG just trying to be a nuisance at the moment. Playing this head glitch beautifully. No pressure's gonna come, but he's hoping the rest of his teammates are gonna arrive as well. In the meantime, while the distraction comes in from APG and Space Station prioritize that hill, it's gonna be Trippy who comes away with that camo. Picks up one, and that will allow the rest of his team to get back on the map. Bound looking for a trade and gets it, so camo out. But two kills picked up by that camo player, Trippy. Last two players alive are Tower and Hill. This is very interesting. Optic needs to be careful how they play this. Here comes the Flood. Flood does come in and they will get those final kills. So now it's an opportunity for them to step into the hill. A Lucid, well, he's found himself Enemy a shock rifle. One shot hill. to the head from, with this thing. And all of a sudden, you're going to see the numbers fall heavily in the favor of Optic Gaming. Trade not going to be picked up there by Penguin. As Optic managed to get that kill as Foreman walks his way into Tower and gets that beat down. Enemy team took the hill. And now you're going to see Space Station trying to stack this hill a little bit. No, nope. ready to really step in for Optic at the moment. One headshot here, and you might see that decision change. Look at this now. Optic needs to play this carefully. Still a two man advantage. Let's get to a listener here on this hill with Optic Gaming. Yo, Austin, 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 Yo, make sure you get silent. Make sure you get silent. Somebody push it out. Somebody push it out. Yeah, I'm half. I'm half. He's pushing. He's pushing. He's right side. Right side. Pushing. Absolute. Absolute. One shot. One shot. Absolute. He's going. One shot. One shot. Hill. Nice. Two. 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 Be careful, guys. Be careful. Be careful. Tower, guys. Tower. Tower. Stay tight. Stay tight. Stay tight. Stay tight. Tower. Tower. They're gonna hit this. They're gonna double it. They're gonna double it. They're gonna double it. They're gonna double it. I got one more. 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 I'm watching you, Joey. I'm watching you. Stay down. Stay down. I got shot C5. One shot. Just one shot. One shot C5. Shot out of vision. Well, it goes right down to the wire as we come out of the listening, but Optic Gaming do get their first hill on the board. We're tied up at one to one, but that was just millimeters between the two teams. I mean, what a treat. I have full body chills from that listening. You heard perfect play calls coming in from the IGLing. Here's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to double stack hill. They made sure to play tight. You heard the words out of Lucid's mouth. That's incredible game management from Optic Gaming to tie this series here. One, excuse me, the game one to one, and the Green Wall Champ begins. Green Wall Champ begins, but Penguin looking to shut that down. He's now last alive, and all of a sudden, Space Station, who had a full elevator cell, find themselves four dead. Optic have broken conclusively here, and we all know, we've watched enough of this game type to realize this elevator hill is so hard to break. Look at Trippy continuing. He's 20 and 11. The next highest on SSG is 13 kills. This man is absolutely slaying out in game number one. Formal inside of this hill for now. Push looks like it's going to be coming through. On the turbine, a couple of shots into one, bound, got away with it there, didn't get stuck. And he will come out of it with double kill as well. APG trying to ch challenge bound here, down to the bottom of the tower, but both teams breaking successfully, which is a little bit surprising to me to see, Andy. APG was your last player alive, he actually backs down. Kills will be traded out, but Stellar flushes that last kill out, maintaining this advantage and the pressure. This should be the hill. This should be the hill, but there might be a chance to flood here because two players from Space Station have fallen. So Lucid's gonna challenge, Ooh. Lucid's gonna go in, and the sidekick. The handy gun to have in that situation. Trippy now trying to fly in on Stella. Gets the kill, doesn't get traded out. Optic will break, and once again, we're in a situation here where it's oh millimeters boy. between the two teams on this hill. It's just gonna be deja vu all over again here for Space Station. Take a look at the hill. Look at this one point away. Eco tries to challenge. Can he get it? Eco trying to challenge, but here comes Formal. He gets that kill. Optic still inside of the hill on Optic. Once again. Clutch up in the last few moments of that hill. They're up two to one. And what is going on in the SSG side of the stage in their heads? They're four dead and the second hill in a row. They are moments away from being up 3-0 in this game. Instead, we're at two to one in favor of Optic and Trippy with the camo as well. You wondered if Optic were going to be coming into this a little bit cold, if they weren't going to be warmed up, having watched SSG play game after game after game. Well, I think you're finding out right now. They are locked in. Two dead here for Optic. Still a lot of games still to play. 133 on the clock, but look at this fourth hill as well. Optic Gaming already about to tap 60% of the progress on it. Oh, Eco stays alive though. Lucy couldn't take him down. And now the numbers starting to heavily weigh in the favor of Space Station. Eco still alive here, trying to team up with Stella to finish off this kill. We'll be able to do so. Trippy will fall as well, and Eco just surviving for that few seconds now. You see the butterfly effect of it. Speaking of butterflies though, Lucid 
He's got a fly towards. Swats him out of the air. Stings like a bee with that shock. He will stay up pipes. Excuse me, the shock will stay at pipes. And they'll look to make damage here. You see Bound trying to hit some shots from across the map. Enemy team. Oh, talk about Trippy. He slowed down a little bit, but APG's picked his game up as well. You see him with 19 kills, formal. Enemy right behind him as well. He's 19 and 14 himself. Make it 20 as Penguin tees it up for him. Also, look what happens. SSG brings Formal the Shock in the hill and tees up that shot for him. Formal gets a gift from the heavens and now very close to finishing out this hill as well. Should be able to do so. Stella though, he's on the flank and he keeps opting at bay for just a few more moments. Stella now looking for a second and somehow he's keeping Space Station alive on this hill. Really good pre-nades on the Sneaky. That's not an easy angle, angle and shot to hit. But here comes the optic push. This is a three-man push coming in from Optic. Bound gets one though, which is going to slow things down once again. Stella's still inside of that hill, by the way, and it looks like Lucy's decided, you know what, we need to get this man out of here. Shots coming in from across the map are going to make it difficult for him. Two dead for Optic Gaming and SSG. Maybe you're looking to do to Optic what Optic did to them on the last two hills. Formal's your last player alive. Penguin now with the camo. This is an opportunity for a very big steal here for SSG, and it looks like they will do it. Lucid has to fly. Double push bottom middle. Boy, look at this. Make it a triple push. Trippy. Take it on Penguin. He's trying to find as much time for his team to get back in this game. Penguin again with the double kill. But here comes Formal. Penguin in a 1v1 here with Formal. The help now comes through. The SSG get the slays. And off the back of that, should get this hill. How about the patience from Penguin? Just sits at the double stacks on the jump up. Killing spree for him in the late game. Four dead for Optic Gaming. It's another double kill. And Space Station on a late game run here. 18 seconds left in regulation. Late game composure is what we always talk about at this level. When you get to the death of the tournament, these final games, nothing is decided in the first few moments. It's all about the end game. 17 seconds left on that game clock as well. As Space Station recognize it and step out for just a few seconds, looking for some slays. They get the job done with the perfect timing on the kills. Perfect timing on the camo. And now they find two dead as well. Last two players are trapped in pipes as well. They're trying to force their way through. Penguin spots them out, and Penguin Spree continues here as SSG step back into that hill to rack up more time. Going to continue to keep them trapped in pipes and gold. And this is a big, big battle here. All eight alive on the map. The next few kills will determine if SSG closes it out here. You're going to have to go through Penguin if you're going to get anywhere near that hill. And look at Optic. They're trying to make sure they have bodies on the map. But Eco gets that first kill. Penguin still just standing on this way, but Formal, Formal's found himself a shock rifle. Formal's found himself to an Optic. They break again. Three dead. Eco's your last player alive at Elevator. He's about to get tripled. Formal can't quite connect with the head that time, but it was all Formal. Two shock rifle kills to give Optic a chance in this game. Next point wins as we see that camo pop bottom middle as well. Of course, those two minutes added in overtime to give us some extra play time here to determine where this point will go. And the clock, of course, will continue to freeze each time the hill is being controlled. Look at Penguin, full of confidence, challenging Formal, saying, if you're going to take me down, you're going to have to hit some really solid shots. Formal still with his shock inside of the hill. Penguin's still a problem, but look at the kill feed. It's lighting up for Optic Gaming right now. That's two dead. Penguin's been impressive in the last few moments, still gets one on batteries. But will be finally taken down by Formal. Optic almost tying up this hill now. Wow, stays alive as long as he can, but what does it cost him now? Too dead though for Optic off the push. Space Station does take advantage of the timing push. Here they come. Trippy gonna be double challenged as well. It's three dead for Optic. And SSG have broken at just the wrong time for Optic fans, but maybe just at the right time to win this game. What does Lucid do? He was your last player alive. Here he comes. Might get one. Doesn't get any. Bound fights in. Gets the beat down, and it will be SSG. Who turned the game on its head? Hold off the final push. I will be one up in our grand final. Wow. How about that for a table setter? That won't be up, trust me. What a game one here. SSG is outslayed 91 to 89, yet they win the game in overtime. An unbelievable late game run after what looked like it was going to be conclusive optic gaming control throughout the entire mid game. SSG digs deep, not once, but twice to take the game in overtime. Got to talk about Elevator Hill for me. Optic have such a strong setup. They return early to make sure they get it. They lock it down. Space Station 4 dead. Everyone in the death screen. And they get broken off of that next push. That kind of thing at this level, surprising to see with how good these players are. But I got to say, it was surprising that Optic sit here that long. You saw Space Station have full control, forwarded everything it could to break that hill.
but a final push from Space Station was the difference. They get that final hit on the board. They're up one to zero. I mean, what a beautiful game one. Here's the play, by the way. Penguin on the double stacks here with the camo, taking his time one by one. Then also make sure to get the trade here against Formal. Not even a trade, excuse me. Stays alive beyond it. And it plays like that. We're tied two to the two to two that made things really interesting. This little run from Penguin just turned the game on its head. You can see Lucid here at the end as well. If he just connects with that headshot, maybe on Eco, maybe things look a little bit different. But yeah, the margins we're playing with now, a shoulder is not good enough to hit with that battle rifle. It has to be the head. That Space Station flood into that hill to get it on their side and take King of the Hill recharge. Three to two. Dare I say it, I think it's one of the best game ones of a grand finals that we've had in a very long time. That one felt like there was a lot on the line, and that's because indeed there is. Next up, Slayer on Aquarius between these two, and let's not forget the last two times we've seen these two play Slayer, they both went to Optic. Let's take a look at the HCS4 Worth stats all up. Looking at these, you can see Optic have been very, very good. Only one flip on their record in Slayer game time, so a lot for the Green Wolves to like about that. We talked about this a little bit earlier, though. SSG up and down after the work that they put in ahead of the last event that we had in Salt Lake City, where they knew their Slayers were a little bit up and down. And it looks like those problems are ruining their heads again. And look at Lucid here with several asterisks on his side of the <laughs> stage, and he's going to like that as he leads HCS Fort Worth in all three of these categories, 1.58 Slayer KD, 4K damage plus, and also a damage differential of over 700. I will say though, look at the stats of Penguin. A player who you usually kind of think about being in that support role, where he stepped up in this tournament, especially in these games. Game number two is live. 50 kills to win here on Aquarius. The heat wave is such a big factor. And it feels like the heat has turned up in this building as well here in Fort Worth. Space Station now only three games away from sending us to a second best of seven. Or can Optic Gaming tie the series here at one to one? We're underway in game number two. On board with Stella. To start this game off, who's going to play for that heat wave? Who's going to play for that thrust? It looks like the thrust has gone. Bound usually the players to go for that on the Space Station side as we see the pink push coming in as both teams wrestle for control of that weapon we were talking about. And I'm pretty sure that Formal might have just got away with it. And more often than not, you're seeing at a high level Aquarius, the teams are playing those openings a bit slower. They want to see how things play out just a bit at the beginning. And that has been no exception here. It's just three to two. Man corrected. Formal did not get away with that heat wave. Not sure quite where that has gone. Usually it's in the hands of Trippy. As Trippy now does actually pick up two. He's trying to be hunted down right now, will be. Formal, a little bit of help from APG. And at the moment, this pace of this game is trade off to trade off to trade on the pink side. Nobody coming out on top. Yeah, they're coming in thick here, right? As we said, a slower start, and then all of a sudden, everyone just started flooding here on the pink side. Will now be all eight players alive on the map. Here comes the push from SSG. They could be some really big grenades there, but nothing connects from APG. Eco gonna be challenging. Oof. Penguin picks up one. Found another. And that's going to be three dead for Optic Gaming. Trippy looking at all the carnage in front of him and thinking, boys, where did you go? He has to retreat, scattle back to the teammates, and he will be able to do so to make sure the damage isn't too strong. Space Station now up by one here, eight to seven. This is just a constant battle of pink at the moment, and there is the heat wave. Eco is the man who has it. Trippy trying to flank P1. With that thrust going to be able to stay alive for just a few extra seconds. Formal just caught off guard for a second. But there's a little thrust move from him, but it won't keep him alive. Penguin was ready for it here. Two deaths for Space Station. That'll give Optic Gaming now a one kill lead as the lead has just changed back and forth here in the opening moments. QT coming up in a few moments time as well. And that might be something that just allows one of these players on the map a touch more freedom than what they've had so far. Formal, we've talked about him in that first event that we saw the Quantum Translocator introduced into the game types. Seem to be a little bit ahead of the curve and mastering how to get in and out as bound. Well, he's getting in and he's coming out with two kills. Hey, look at that. You see Lucid looking left and right, screen watching his teammate's screen to see those two deaths take place. And will give SSG the lead now. 12 to 10. One kill here, but you would expect maybe a trade to come through unless Opti oh. Oh. find themselves being oh. held down by Lucid. It's a double kill. It's a triple kill. There's too many medals on our screen to really Reward that play from Lucid. Are you kidding me? Cool Kong collected the whole way through screen watching, gets the sidekick, first kill on the jet, and then with the thrust, hits the fadeaway for the double stick, making it a triple, and the lead as well. 16 to 13 now. Optic with a three kill advantage. Make it two as a couple of trades come through. Penguin comes out of that little situation. The sticky one over in the fridge with a couple of kills. So 17 to 15. And the sidekick again. We know how deadly this thing is short range. Penguin has the thrust. Oh, yeah. 
But that side kick was better in that situation. You get the feeling with Lucid here leading the game in kills, maybe we're starting to see the Lucid of old, the untouchable Lucid here as he's 7-3 in this game. Confidence is a funny thing, right? As soon as it starts coming back, you feel invincible. You feel unbeatable. And maybe that's what Tommy Wilson is feeling right now. 8-4 at the start of this game, but now Optic are going to have to just slow the pace down for a second. A couple of kills fall in the favor of SSG. Still just a two-kill difference. And Optic knows just how much is riding here as the game comes within one, right? They do not want to go 2-0 in this first series. Down, trying to even things up here and stay on top and try to win this series in its first set. You also know that your Slayer is something you relied on. You know that SSG have been a little bit weak. The objective game plus where SSG have been pretty good so far. So to take the Slayer away, tie the series up, it's almost a must-do here for Optic. Two dead here for SSG, still just a two-kill game. Trippy knows he's in trouble up top, has to retreat here to the gen. Things slow down for just a second yet again. Let's look for what the opening damage is here. Well, let's talk about Big Game Trip, a nickname which is given by other people, not one you give yourself. Well, it needs to be a big series coming in from Trippy as halfway through this game, we hit the 25 kill mark at exactly the same time for both teams. This is exactly how they would write the story, like you said. 27 27 now at this point. Let's get to a listen in here with Space Station Gaming. Watch out, Phoenix. Watch out, Phoenix. Yeah, come here, come here. I don't know if you want blue stairs. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Do. blue stairs. Blue stairs. Do blue P tunnel. Do blue P tunnel. Lippy, Lippy, Lippy. Look at P2. Do you blue P? Don't even I'm watching top blue. I'm watching top blue from fridge. I'm watching top blue. I'm watching one. Here in blue closet. Yo, I'm going for yellow. I'm going for yellow. Do I have help? No, yes, no. I'm in blue flag, dude. Where's Starsaw? Are you alright? I think they're P, guys. There's a guy P. There's a guy in the flag. Look at P2 still. Flag. Still look at P2, they're definitely yeah, in the yeah, closet. Yeah, blue flag and blue engine, blue flag and blue engine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, one blue in the P-tunnel, one in the P-tunnel. Yeah, push up to P2 right now. Yeah, I think you should. I think we can blow up, you know? No, no, I mean, they're here, they're here. One in the P-tunnel? Yeah, one's, one's on your pistol. They're probably hiding fridge, 100%, 100%, just chill. One in the P-tunnel. We don't have eyes on P1, exactly. On, on the fridge, weak. Yeah, on the stairs, weak. On the stairs, weak as well. Stairs, weak. Blue window, blue window. Window, window, window. window, 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 window. And car glass. Yeah, window, 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 one shot at me, one shot at me. Yeah, I lost Heatwave. They're gonna be feeling back flag, back flag. Yo, he's back flag. Lucid, he's a thrust. He's blue piece on with thrust. He's going for it, going for it, going for it, going for it. Going for it. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Hurt, hurt, hurt. I said, I don't know. Push up the car, push up the car. P2 as well, P2 as well, P2, P2. P1, 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 P1,
that there's just 10 to go. Oh, look at this Eco battle here. Oh my goodness, gets the help as well from Trippy. But the trade's coming elsewhere. It's still tied up. 41 to 41, QT just popped. Four minutes on the clock, but you can almost be certain we won't need him here. Lucid finds another. Too dead for Optic though, needs to be careful. Stella though, Stella went in and got a double kill off the back of it. It's a one kill advantage in the favor of SSG. Lucid trying to chase down the damage and Bound will find another. So now it's two kills. And Lucid has to be so careful in this situation. Bit of bit of damage done, but has he been baited in? The answer is yes, and Stella flies in to keep Bound alive. And SSG now within five. They don't get the kill they needed. Lucid with the thrust and sidekick. You thought he might at least get one. He does not get that kill. That now gives SSG a two kill lead, a three kill lead at 47 to 44. And in the late game, once again, it's SSG who is showing that ice. Three kills to go now, but Optic will know. One good push, and it could still be their game. As we said, very unlikely you would need the full game clock here. And SSG with the game in their hands, a three kill lead with three kills to go. Oh, sneaky oh. position from Stella though. Playing on that head glitch, so get that first pick. And the signal has been given here for a space station. Fly in, boys. Let's try and close this one out. Loose it down. Stella picks up his 17th of this game. It's one more to go for SSG. You gotta think. They know it's here. They know it's here. Check the fridge. Looking for the leftovers. Eco's gonna find them. SSG. A 2-0 up in our grand finals. And I tell you what, if you were thinking this might be a quick evening, well, quite simply, you might be wrong, because we are looking down the barrel of Optic Gaming and Space Station and a bracket reset. And let's not forget the record that you saw on screen before this game. Optic was 8-1 in Slayer. SSG was 5-6, and, and Optic had won both Slayers in the matchup prior with these two teams at this weekend's event. Instead, this time, it's SSG with an unbelievable late game run. 50 to 44, they will close out the game. And Stellar goes 17 and eight. That man Stellar, 17 and eight. And in that end game, how good was he, right? Just playing off the damage of others. That push that they made onto the car trip, he pokes himself out. He's like, hey, I've got information. Stellar's just not showing whatsoever, just using the geometry of that ramp. Pokes back out gets that kill and then you could just see the signal was to flood from SSG. Get those trades, close the game out. It's exactly what they did. As we jump in some of the highlights of our game number two. And I gotta say, once again, so impressed with the listening from Space Station Gaming. I think it tells you everything you need to know about this team. And the, look at this play from Lucid though to open things up. An unbelievable triple. Beautiful stuff coming in from Lucid. Another big play here with that sidekick. So devastating at close range. But I think two pivotal moments you're looking at, right? The stellar play at the end, the baiting and switching from Space Station to get that kill onto Trippy. And then just before that, the push from Lucid on the other gen where he doesn't get the trade, doesn't get the kill. Right here. This is the play you're talking about. Take a look at this. Cannot finish bound because Stellar flies in to help out. And there was a lot of pressure there. You might even say, here's the play you were also talking about. Stellar with perfect timing there. They also double teamed the back of the base with Lucid, who might have gotten away with that had they not. And then after that, it's just a matter of checking the fridge. They had three eyes on it, and they close it out. But I couldn't agree more. There was a lot of pressure on Lucid there in the opposing gen. He stayed there because he had the sidekick thrust and was going to be able to win a 1v1. The 1v2 was too tall of an order for him. And just like that, in your first best of seven, SSG will take the 2-0 series lead. Now, game number three, Oddball Life Fire. You get your two best Oddball teams in the whole of Halo, which is a wonderful thing to know if you're going to see Oddball Live Fire is your map number three. It means we're going to be back and forth. And for Optic Gaming, it needs to be a win. Numerous reasons for that, of course. They want to get this closed out in the first series. But I just feel like when you lose two close games like that, it hurts so much more than if you kind of get pushed aside, knowing they're maybe not your game types, maybe ones that you know you need to do a little bit of work on. But for Optic, two close ones to come that close, find yourself down by two, it's tough to take. Let's take a look here, your objective kings on the screen. Eco versus APG. Let's talk about the ball time per game. Both of them clocking in 60 and 80, respectively, on the board. 40% of time for APG. That's quite a margin. Yeah, certainly is indeed. And no surprise to see the KD a little bit higher for Eco with the comparison of those ball time stats, right? APG, much more difficult to get those kills if you're having a drop and hit a few shots, play that ball, kind of sacrifice your life 
in order to get that ball time on the board. So maybe Optic looking at that and thinking, hey, maybe we can share that out a little bit more in the future, but APG doing everything he needs for his team to win. He really is, and I'm so glad we highlighted APG ahead of this game because APG's rotates on oddball live fire. There's a reason that he's trusted with 40% of the ball time. It's because this man is rotating usually seconds prior to the play can even be seen, right? The team comms on Optic for these ball rotates can be absolutely incredible. And more times than not, they are led by APG. Let's keep a close eye on this game to see exactly how they're moving the ball around the map. I think it might be the difference maker as well as the play balls on if they take this game. Yeah, one thing I love what Optic do as well, sometimes they'll take that ball out on the overshield side. They kind of fake it, right? They'll start rotating, just walking it one way. Spawners come in and they're like, hey, they're going to Garrison. It's 4 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they just turn around a few seconds later, that internal clock of what do we want to do? What do we want to lead our opponents to believe we're about to do? And then changing it up. So difficult to read Optic Gaming with their ball rotates. And the same can be said about Space Station, the way they get that ball to green. And not just for play balls as well. They hold down green so well, Space Station. And usually, you'll see them keep that ball on the map as well. Couldn't agree more. And when you have those players on scoreboard and window, and you have B spawners and nest spawners, the second you can fake that you're going to tower and change the complete routing of your opponents can buy you so much time and buy you so much advantage in these games. Optic Gaming chain around the neck proudly here for Trippy and all the players on the Optic Gaming side of the stage. Also, of course, decked out in Championship Sunday Whites. And Optic Gaming fans will be very happy to see them returning to the Grand Finals. Gotta say, just kind of going back to what you were saying as we got into the first game of this Grand Final. Crazy event, upsets galore. Everybody in this tournament has lost the series. Yet we still find ourselves with two Titans at the end of it. Here's your 2023 map rep records, and you can see Optic Gaming perfect on Live Fire Rumble. Feels like a story of old. Optic Gaming and Live Fire, guess what? On Oddball, they're still perfect, as you say. Five and zero up against Space Station's four and two. The stats would suggest that Optic Gaming will have this one in the bag, but SSG might have something else to say. Here we are into game number three. SSG currently leading two to zero. Space Station looking to go up by three. What a start that is. APG had no chance multiple guns traced on him and Stella he's already got the sniper and Trippy is already going to sleep it's four dead for Optic Gaming the perfect start here for SSG four dead in give me, 12 give seconds give me Stella POV I'm sorry to jump in he's in everything 12 seconds it takes them to get four dead on this game type dangerously efficient is this team and they already lead here 15 to 0 space station is looking dangerous heat wave Ball, snipe, oh, momentarily overshield as well. We forget about that though, as that does get taken down. 20 seconds on the board already, as Stella looks to continue his reign of terror. And if you didn't catch Salt Lake City, this is your player to watch oh here. My goodness. In the Halo Championship Series right now, Stellar has been putting on a show, not just this weekend, but of course in Salt Lake as well. And now they now lead 31 to zero. Four and off the rip here, Stella. And I said it's a reign of Tella, Terra, excuse me. Well, it's been the reign of Stella recently. We're going to clean up yet another one. But Formos giving him the wiggle, still manages to snap on. First time that he goes into the death screen, it's a killing spree alongside it. 35 points off the rip here for SSG, but Optic have slowed things down. Slow things down. Let's see if they can work together here. It's a very nice nade off the wall to clear out bound and more damage as well here from Lucid. Heat wave in hand. Turnover of weapons. Ooh. 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 Weapons versus bodies. Bodies usually wins. Eco taken down as well. Things starting to get a little bit scrappy here as the ball is secondary, but Space Station do just sneak away with it, having picked up a couple of kills. Now, keeping it overside, overshield, excuse me, side of the map on live fire. At this point in the game, pretty smart, but the numbers are a little bit scrappy. Keeping it here with the OB coming up, a smart play from SSG. Yeah, let's see how SSG plays this. Penguin plays that so well, just isolating one sandbags battle, and the whole time, as the whole team comes over now, with the overshield pop, it will be shrouded. Bound does not pop first. Look at the confidence there to win the battle first with the team and then pop. Really, really smart stuff from Bound, making sure that Optic don't get their hands on it, that they will fall to the floor. And now, Space Station with the second overshield of the game. Bound on the hunt, APG, Ooh, a little bit wobbly, a little bit weird, but Bound comes out of it with the right result, you would say. I love the micro there from Bound. He just sits on the box, even though it's a bit awkward, he just keeps APG in front of him. He's not gonna allow himself to get back whacked from a weird angle. He just sits there, and even though the melee is funky, the first one, he still wins that battle, and they now lead 61 to eight, and they still have a two-man slaying advantage at the moment. I don't quite understand Bound's stats right now. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not quite sure how it works. Bound is two, five, and four, but it feels like he should have 20 kills. Finally, Optic Gaming slow him down for a second to get a hand on that off ball because it's 
22 to 13, and SSG have been on fire at the start of this first round. It was a three-man advantage here for Optic. However, all eight players up now, and the first pick is going to go to Optic, but it might be traded out here. Penguin flying in as well. 2v2 on the map. The shot's coming in from APG, though. Really smart angle there to take him down, but here comes Stellar again. Ooh, Mokes lines up the second one. It's a shock, but he doesn't hit the head. I was going to say, every time you see the sniper in the man's hands, it feels like you're watching a highlight reel. It's hard to distinguish what's real live gameplay versus a highlight reel with Stellar's gameplay these days. Two dead for both sides yet again here. It's now 62 to 14 with three minutes left on the clock. And now a man who's Enemy been just as effective with this sniper Wait. rifle. He's got it back in his hands. Penguin, standout player for me on SSG so far this tournament. He will fall, though, as Optic Gaming get the kills they need to finally get some semblance of a setup here in Garage. It's three dead yet again. It's very good timing, very important timing here for Optic Gaming as they continue to get the ball placed here. Overshield popping in 10. Overshield coming up. That's why you see him will change his direction. Oddball is going to be dropped as they decide to fight for this oh, one! Oh. Winds it up, but doesn't get to pull the trigger. Enemy. Keep an eye on this overshot popping right now. This is a big, big moment in the game here. We'll determine the direction that it goes. Rebound push here from SSG, trying to force the back. Shots come in, though, from Optic Gaming. They don't get the burn at SSG. That overshot is still down somewhere. They pick up three kills, and that's going to be the first OS now. Going over to Optic. And what timing there. Three the players ball. stacked, as you said, from SSG. It'll be three players falling. And Optic Gaming, though they trail by 50, let's get into a listen in here with Optic. Now, big door now. Two of them, two big door now. Who's yeah. one? Big big door, back to you, 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 back to Make sure you can play. 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 We got one, we got one. There's still one more back green. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. No, no, no. Guy going, I think Pillador. I think Pillador, not sure. Watch sure, grab it. Go into it. Yeah, heard you. I'm bought one shot. They're debating this. Pillador, really big penguin. I can look at Pillador. Watch out, watch out. 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 Watch out, dummies again. Two there, two there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Nice. Get calm in the comms. And that calmness is bringing results. They are starting to put full time on the board now. 2-4 for SSG, and it's a 20-point difference. And it was all about those rotates you were mentioning, Andy. Beautiful rotates, and you also saw that SSG split a bit. Seller goes back green during the overshield push from SSG. They try to kind of play both sides of the map, and it really costs them. Optic Gaming takes advantage of both. They get the kills at green. They get the kills on Ovi. They get the Ovi itself, and now they're just 10 points away on a massive comeback. Ball has to be played, though. Selfless play from APG initially. Doesn't come out of that with a trade, though. Three dead for Optic. And that ball is being cycled away back to tower by SSG. One more opportunity here, maybe for Optic to break. To get that ball out of the hands, it's bound to have his hands on that off. Oh, boy, Stellar was ready for the dummy door push as well with that first kill. Five seconds left. This could be the round. This should be the round as well. Bound gets pushed. Can he hold on long enough? Yes, he can. SSG. Get that first round on the board. And you feel like Optic let too many points go away on the board early in the game. It will cost them in the end, despite a heroic comeback of about 60 points to get back into the game and just about tie it up. All it took was one final hold from SSG and one final four dead. They now lead in the game. One round to zero and only one round to take the game. Trippy doesn't get to pick up his favorite toy this time around. Stella's read that one before. Takes that green gun bottom middle, takes him down. 
That's now bound. He's going to have his turn with that sniper rifle. Penguin there to help him out. Overshield coming up in about five seconds time. But all the kills seem to be falling initially to SSG. Trippy! Bound puts him on his backside. Even tries to go for more there. Lucid is going to be very thankful that he's able to end that run now. Eco with the overshield and a lot of OS to play with here with the squad here on the OS side push. Love how SSG always position that overshielded player into the most dangerous position where they have to take the most fire, but if they come out of it alive still, they will deal so much damage, and Eco showing exactly how to play that situation. APG taken down as well. Three dead here for Optic Gaming. The Opal should be collected here by Space Station. Three dead. You hear the overshield timer as well, and you see the ball being skirted out. Eco just gonna hold down this cut side, and they're probably gonna pick up this next kill as well, which will be big. And they maintain the man advantage. Another kill, three dead yet again. APG is your last player alive for Optic. A lot of people after Salt Lake City would have said Stellar's the best player in the game. Guess what? Right now he's 21 and 12 in this game as well. Ooh. Yet again, Stellar just with a ridiculous slaying performance. Formal gets one, immediately oh, traded one. out. Oh, Eco with a sniper God. rifle. A lot of talk about Stellar and Penguin, what they can do with this weapon. Bound, ridiculous as well. Only one bullet to work with this time for Eco. Didn't really get a chance to show us what he can do. Minor man advantage here from Optic. They already trail by 20. Let's see if they can get the opening kills here to get a real hold put together as his overshield pops. Overshield coming up now. Take ourselves back to round one. Very similar thing was done by SSG, holding the ball on this overshield side of the map so that they could hopefully get the ball as well as that overshield. Well, this time. It's SSG who break Optic Gaming's hold. They get the elbow and yet another overshield. Just a cage match there. I love how Eco says, get me into the shroud. I want to see what's going on in here. And o Formal actually goes for the grab. Eco gets the melee the as the overshield's still falling, which allows him Enemy to pop it immediately. However, they find themselves too dead, meaning Eco needs to take this a little bit slow. Eco will try and keep that pressure on, though. Slow down that elbow time. I'm hoping there'll be some teammates coming off a respawn to help him, but I have to agree with you. Maybe just a little bit overzealous. I'm, I'm surprised to see him apply that much pressure on window. It was a 1v2 and the help was coming, as you see, just about a few seconds later. We'll see if it pays off for them, though. Oh, oh my god! The 180 stick on APG. He had no chance. I'm not going to lie, it pays off for him because I didn't account for the 180 stick for Bound <laughs> on the doorway to get that play put together. That means SSG will continue scoring. If you had that on your bingo card, you're a liar. It's as simple as that. Eco just patrolling around the overshield at the moment as Bound picks up yet another. 16 assists in this game for Bound as well, just laying damage down all around the map. And look at this score. 62 to 17. Optic, who have been perfect on this game type, being taken apart. Three dead here. He goes your last player alive for SSG. Maybe a play ball here into the open field, or maybe just gonna hold window. How's that repulse as well? So we be able to push away the push and any grenades to try and flush him out. Buy even more time. Chooses just a jiggle peek around that pillar instead. Knew that help was arriving from Penguin. Optic. Three dead. Stella. Looking for more ball time. They have location of Lucid as well, who's gonna be top mid last alive. And Stella now showing that he can hold an on-ball as well. Lucid has to wait yet again. Lucid drops, actually, and some pressure is coming in here from the B side, which means Stellar has to drop and shoot for a moment. Formal just runs fast. Maybe a little bit of a miscommunication there that Stella was still in the vicinity. Easy double kill here for Bound, who's flanking. It's a wingman medal for Stella as well, and I swear, every time a sniper rifle falls, it falls in front of Stella. It's another overshield here for SSG. Optic. I've had one, I believe, across the two rounds. I'm not going to lie, ball with sniper ball. in hand, overshield, and ball, this could be the round. This, actually, this could be the Enemy game right here on this hold ball. alone. Ball drop. Trippy manages to punch a hole in the setup for just a few seconds, though. Stella punches a hole in the ankles of APG. There's oh. a second for B. Comfortable double kill for him. Formal going to be challenged. Yeah! Oh! oh, he's going to do it! Bounce steals it away, but Stella! The reign of terror continues. We hate to say we told you so, but when all those weapons and things come together here, especially a sniper in the hands of a red-hot Stellar, it could spell disaster for Optic Gaming. Ten points to go. Stellar says, hold that up, all guys. I got this. Lucid taken down. Eco combining with Stellar once more. So many times through the years we've seen it. As Optic have four more left on his own. Shelly with some good shots there just to buy a little bit of time for the teammates to fly over. The kill's picked up, and now it's all up to Lucid here, but the Shroud, shroud is going to help shroud. them get away. The Shroud helps him get around this corner. 
Three seconds to go and SSG will go up by three. One map away from resetting the bracket and SSG. They want to play some more Halo. They do indeed. Look at this. Barely any reaction from the SSG side. Making game three look very easy. A two to zero winning ball. We talked about how this is a rematch from the Halo World Championship Finals. Well, funny how history repeats itself sometimes. SSG dominating in this first series. Back at Worlds, they reset the bracket. But then there was that infamous team talk from Optic Gaming, where they came back to the stage and things looked very different. They were the team that ended up lifting that trophy. The question is, do Optic have them in that? Do they have one more team talk in them? Because if they do, Probably best to start it now. Across the two rounds. An enormous slaying margin, an enormous score margin as well. I mean, are you surprised? That's the real question. Overshield after overshield after overshield picked up by SSG. And it's easy to say, yeah, you've got to get a few more overshields. By the way, that was just like... That was just a him play, isn't it? Just a classic bound play. Not many can do. This play from Stella as well, absolutely ridiculous. I will say, by the way, he is a quarter shield as he slides down, cuts, sees the shots coming in, just shoves him. Absolutely disgusting. You gotta wonder if he had a word with Bound there. I would. Robbed him of the overkill on the main stage at a time where you could have said he probably had the luxury to give him the overkill. In the end, though, all they care about is the game wins on the board, and you're looking down the barrel of a 3-0 Space Station lead. One game away from resetting our grand finals and sending us to a best of seven. Argyle CTF will be your next battleground. And you know, I always bring a, a little energy drink up with us. We call it the emergency drink, just in case the bracket does get reset. Haven't had to crack it yet this season, Andy, but I tell you what, it's looking pretty tasty right now. SSG, one game away from resetting this bracket. The two players we're still looking at on this map, in this series, excuse me, Penguin and Formal. We looked at them coming into the series, that's the difference. Penguin outperforming them at the moment. Let's not forget, Formal was big on the KD as you saw coming in here. And of course, SSG has so far shut him down to a KD of just below 1.0. Can they do it again? One game away from resetting our grand finals or can Optic Gaming stay alive and still try to win it here in the first set? Another opportunity for some of the best players in the world, some of the best snipers in the world to put on a highlight reel for us here. Such a difficult map to score on, though. We've talked about this a lot, Andy. We saw Space Station go to a double overtime, of course, with Quadrant a little bit earlier on. And they really struggled to get this game under their belt. Maybe this were good signs for Optic there. You have to think, with a game type like Argyle CTF, this is now an opportunity for Optic Gaming to catch their breath for the first time in this series. A slower game type that often can end 1-0, 2-1. Less scoring on the board, maybe giving Optic Gaming an opportunity to find their composure, find their footing here in the Grand Finals, truly for the first time. Oh my God. I, was, I was about to say, I have so much respect for our observers, by the way. They catch so much of the action, Jeez. but the job is very easy when Stella gets a snipe, because he'll just run at you and give you clips. Unbelievable there. Trippy spawns in and doesn't even get a chance to check his laces before he gets absolutely whipped and two dead. Here comes the flag run. Trapped to the back of the base as well. Stella in front. Optic Gaming 2 dead, a huge opportunity here for SSG to get this first flag on the board. They've almost got it past the 50-yard line. 2 dead for Optic again. Penguin's out of here, he's got that flag back home almost. Seller's flanking around the base, he can't even find anyone to kill. He's gonna probably get these last two, he gets he the first it. one. He wins it! <laughs> Stellar had to look around to find the opponents to get the killing spray. The flag goes in. Space Station already leading 1-0, to zero, and it takes them less than two minutes to get the first flag on the board. This is terrifying from SSG. Finally, they've slowed down a little bit. The pressure is still on the Optic Gaming side of the map, though. Optic can't buy a kill at the moment. Formal can't get a kill at the moment. He's been in the death screen four times, and he's yet to register a kill himself. And, well, Stella's got another sniper rifle. Finally, Optic get up to that 50-yard line. Bound picks up the first kill, though. Lucid has a sniper rifle himself, and he's got to try and match what Stella has been doing. If Lucid can catch fire in the way that we know he can, that's he Optic's way back into this turn. game if he can hit a few headshots. You're absolutely right. I think the Optic Gaming roster needs to realize and remember, still just a one-flag game here, even though that might have been a little bit deflating and disheartening to see that flag go in as fast as it did, with as difficult as they are in Argyle. 
still a lot of games still to play here. Confidence from Stella. Jumps up top middle, hits the body. As Lucid now starts to hit a few shots. You can see him in the kill feed. Pressure starting to come in, but does have some support and teammates here. Find it difficult to get any kind of clear angles at the moment, though, Lucid, that are really going to progress his team up the map. Important shot there as they were two dead. That's gonna even things up just a little bit more here. And a very nice double kill killing spree comes in for Lucid. However, Trippy's your last player alive. Trippy last alive. Penguin will take him down as well. Eco just escapes, denying that line of sight with the grapple as well. Trying to get pushed by those respawners and taken down, but smartly again positions himself in a way. But those respawners on the side of the map aren't gonna end his run here. You can already tell, with the flag on the board, Space Station's playing this a little bit differently, right? They're playing really obnoxious here for mid-map control. Stellar still sniping, Eco just grappling around, and controlling and patrolling. Stellar's got that big stick again. Finally gonna be taken down though, the run will be stopped. Form will gonna be challenged it aggressively. Eco! Ew. Wow! I tell you what, had no right to get that trait. The trapeze artist. Closes the distance with the grapple and forces a trade that, to be honest, he had really no business getting. It's a very nice technical play there from Eco on screen. All eight players up. Still 7.45 left on the clock. A lot of time for Optic Gaming to make something happen. However, right now being outslayed 29 to 20. I think you're right. SSG, after getting that first flag on the board, they don't need to push the pace. No intention of getting too aggressive. Just trying to hold the map, trying to hit these body shots that are just completely slowing down any push that comes in from Opti. But bound under pressure now, APG looking to ramp things up a little bit here for Opti. Gets inside of the base for just a second there, but at least gets past that 50 yard line as Formal also picks up a few kills. Lucid coming back for more. He's got that QT as well. It's three dead momentarily for SSG as he's trying to hunt down a Penguin. Three dead, it will be the fourth dead eventually, not consecutively, however, they will get the kills. There's your four dead, Stellar has spawned. Lucid with Snipe and QT, let's get to a listen with Optic Gaming. Twice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay, find their side, guys. Find their side for me. I'm going to steal their van. 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 I'm going to I want to go. They're going 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 to go. They're well, I mentioned how Lucid had to step up, hit some big headshots. It's exactly what he did. Went on that beautiful run, and Optic Gaming get a foot on the board here. It's one to one, one flag in for them. And surprise, surprise, it's Lucid again, 14 and 7. As you say, absolutely popping off in this game so far. Three dead, though, for Optic. Trippy was your last player alive. He will be taken care of. Here comes another SSG run, and this could be a heartbreaker for Optic if this next flag goes. Worked so hard to get that flag in, and now you've got to go through Penguin, who's got that snipe. Lucid taken down to no shields. Lucid taken into the death screen. He'll be having a little sleep himself as Penguin's still alive. Throws the sniper off the map smartly as well, meaning that Optic don't have any long range to stop this run. Eco will run it in, and having worked so hard, Optic, they find themselves now chasing the game once more. And just as quickly as you thought this was going to be Optic Gaming back in this series, they're three dead again after that flag cap as well. Less than five minutes left on the clock. We were just tied up. One to one, and now the danger zone again for Optic Gaming. SSG in control of not only the scoreboard, but the map as well. Bracket reset is looming here. For both of these teams, and Bound, he slides out. He gets this one round the corner. Eco's got his cutoffs as well. Stella picks up one. APG with a vital win, a vital win for Optic to keep him alive. But can Bound beat him? Can he win this race? Doesn't hit the drop side right away. That results in a flag fumble momentarily, and APG has a follow-up. Gets the next kill as well. What a play from APG, by the way. He might have just kept Optic alive in this game. Wins that BR fight. Stays alive. 
comes back into it and gets the return as well. APG putting Optic on his back. I'll tell you what, if I ever need a favor, I'm calling APG. Unbelievable to win that battle from the bottom of his base, from the depths of the map, then wins another battle in the mid map, then gets your flag return and keeps your team alive. Still just down by one flag here, 355 left. Trimby gonna pick up the kill after the damage done by APG. Three minutes 50, like you say, here to play with for Optic Gaming. Lots of time for them to work with. Oh, Lucy. oh my oh. god. Oh no, no. no. Cheeky. Lucy is thinking, no, I've just hit us. Oh, I'm dead. Cheeky reversal there coming in the stick. Of course, Bound hits an angle like that. Two of the best players to ever play the game up against each other. You're going to get a guaranteed good battle just like that. Formal stays alive on the engagement. That's the level you're playing at. You no scope someone below you. If it's not a headshot, you're probably going to die. Ridiculous stick coming in from Bound, but Lucid's got that sniper rifle again. QT going to be here. I'm not sure they know where that port exits. Bound has no idea. Bound gets taken down. Where's that flag though? Is it still moving here for Optic? Still moving, has not been returned yet. They're on the re now. Great work here from our reservers to jump right away on that flag, but there's no one there for the touch. Optic going to instead choose to try and force their way through the screen side of the map. Bound trying to cut that off for SSG. As you can see on the player outlines. But well, I gotta say, a little bit surprised that maybe Optic didn't go back in for that flag. Haven't worked so hard to get it out of the base. It was an opportunity. We've seen this movie before. Stellar here with the sniper rifle in the late game. However, two of his teammates down. Can Optic continue converting here? Here they come for the pull. Stellar has to hit some shots. It's Stellar versus Lucid. Two dead here for Optic Gaming, and Stella knows it. He's just trying to buy time for Bound to get back into the game. He does it. It's a ring around the Rosie at the moment with Lucid, who cannot find him. And now that he's got a little bit of space, Stella will survive and post up again with this snipe. Lucid was your last player alive. If Lucid can come around here and flank, maybe still get a flag touch. It's still possible. However, he retreats. That flag should go back for SSG, and we will likely be both flags back at home with two minutes left. Two dead, though. Three, flag Three dead. Stella now left on his own once more. Oh, no. Tarzan even needs to get the beat down. APG challenges. Stella going to be lining it up. APG should be challenging. Gets the kill as well. And Formal has the snipe. There's a chance here for Optic if they hit these shots. Still too dead. They still have the advantage. Can they convert? That is the big question. Ooh. Shots like that for Formal will help. Three dead again for SSG. Optic Gaming poised to get a game tying cap. Can they do it with one minute 37 left? Formal spotted the overextension as well. Bound take it down. Formal in a great position to take down these respawners. Can't quite connect. But where is that flag? It needs to be moving here for Opti. Hasn't pulled yet. They're trying to get these kills first. Not enough kills. Trapped on the elbow, though. Here comes Opti Gaming. One grenade can take down three players here. Oh! Formal! Boots the door down. And surely now Opti have to swarm and get this flag moving. Bound is your last player alive. They need the kill. Flag is moving. Penguin, though. He's there. Stella with the nades as well. And just inefficiency from Optic in those final moments as Eco comes through. Optic four dead. And the flag sent back home. One minute left. That flag comes back home on the sheer presence of Bound on the back stairs. There was not enough of a flood, not enough of a collapse from Optic Gaming. And somehow Bound and the spawner Penguin will get the flag stop before it even leaves the base. 40 seconds left. And now Stella's flying forward. He said, okay, that's enough of our base, Optic. We're coming for yours. Eco's gonna get the last kill, it's four dead for Optic, and wouldn't this be a kick in the guts for them to find themselves in a position to maybe tie this game up? Yeah. Now you're having to defend your own flag. Oh boy, look at Stellar. Oh my god. Repulses to stay alive from the grenade, also gets an angle from the sky. He's gonna keep going with this. Forces it forward, Optic three dead, and it is gonna be the case. It is gonna be the horrible pill to swallow as Formal is last alive. He's just gonna have to watch SSG. Lucy gets a stop though. Six seconds left and this should be it here. The clock will count down. Optic cannot get in position to pull that flag. Stopped on the line. SSG. They reset the bracket here in Fort Worth with a dominating 4-0 win. And I think that about sums it up. <laughs> Green wall fans in the Sorry, building, <laughs> not pleased with what they've seen in the first set. You will see the Optic Gaming and SSG members exit here for a short break. And Mark, you mentioned it. We keep an extra energy drink <laughs> on hand just in case the bracket gets reset. For the first time this season, those are about to get cracked open. Here's your stats 
from that final game of the first set. Space Station will outslay 71 to 65. Time for a bevy here in the Castle booth. Get grab one at home as well, because we got another series to get through between these two teams. But the first series was all SSG, a four to zero series result. The stats in front of you. Eco leading the way in damage. Excuse me, so sorry, Bound. Bound leading the way in damage for his team. Lucid on the other side for Optic Gaming. He carved a path for them to get that flag, but the immediate, almost counter cap that came out of SSG was the final blow in that game and series. Look at that series layout. That is devastating for Optic Gaming and Optic Gaming fans. And I think the only glimmer of hope that they have right now as we take a look at some highlights from that entire series is the fact that they have been here before, they've been reset by SSG, and the last time it happened, it still resulted in an Optic Gaming World Championship. It's really crazy how history repeats itself sometimes. Been in this situation before. The last time these two teams matched up, Halo World Championship, and like you say, bracket reset, there's no way that SSG have their momentum stopped. But if I'm a fly on the wall or I'm a man with a microphone, I want to go backstage right now and try and hear what's being said between the Optic Gaming members, because it needs to be a team talk which is as influential as that one that led them to the Halo World Championship. This could be a very interesting episode of the process for Optic Gaming fans, depending on what is said backstage. Regardless, though, it will be a fantastic conclusion to the Fort Worth Grand Finals, as it will only be seven games, potentially only four of them, separating <laughs> these two teams. That play from Bound is probably the most Bound play I've seen in quite some time. I mean, he looks up, he's like, go ahead. he's like, yeah, you, he's like, yeah. I stuck you, he's like, cool, see you in a bit. And that's kind of the conversation, how it goes down. Look at this Bound staying alive. Bound is your last player alive on the stairs, and it's a three-man flood. Look at the nades that come in. Hank with the spawner. Bound stays alive the entire time. It can't happen if you're on the side of Optic Gaming. It can't happen. Bound as that last player needed to get flushed out. <laughs> Optic Gaming fans not happy with the result. And also history now, guys. not being happy getting caught in 4K in the crowd as well. Hey, if, if you show up in an Optic Gaming jersey and you sit in front row, you might be part of the show. Hey, maybe they'll be celebrating a little bit later on. Hey, another True. series to go. Nothing is done here in our grand finals. We are resetting the bracket. Whoever wins this next series will, of course, be your champions here in Fort Worth. And Space Station, I'm sure they're ready to go right now on that. So, oh, they have stepped away for a few seconds, but I'm sure if they had the option, they'd just get going right now. Hey, I think they'd love to go right into the game. I think both teams taking a very short water break. And for Optic Gaming, a uh, very much needed one. As you said, they'll be undoubtedly chatting through what Ooh. they need to do in this series layout. And you can bet they're also going to be looking at this exact list of game types that you see on your screen here. This is your series layout for the grand finals reset here in Fort Worth. Starting off with a bit of CTF Imperium, my favorite game type to watch so, so much fun to see the best in the world with all the power weapons and goodies they can get on their hands. And then we move to Slayer Streets, which we have seen some extremely close Slayers on between some of our best teams here in Fort Worth throughout the weekend. Strongholds Recharge, game number three, King of the Hill Live Fire. Slayer Aquarius is gonna be in there as well. And then we go to Opal Streets and Slayer Solitude to end things out. You get the feeling, Andy, we might be seeing some of those later game types with the way this series kind of just started being a little bit interesting. I certainly hope so. I tell you what, CTF Imperium, I'm going to say the same thing. Even though we did not see Optic Gaming take CTF Argyle, I think CTF Imperium is a much needed game type for Optic Gaming in your game number one. If they come in and they have to play Strongholds Recharge right away, I think they could just get caught flatted footed once a, flat footed, excuse me, once again, and SSG could run away with that. I think CTF Imperium, if played correctly by Optic, could once again be a moment to take a breath in, take a breath out. Let's get some flags on the board and let's play our game. However, SSG is going to want to do everything they can to make sure that's not the case. Yeah. I agree with you. I think CTF Imperium is the perfect map to get your fundamentals back on track, yeah. right? And for Optic, they're going to have the opportunity to do that. But what a whirlwind of a series that was first up. We need to give some credit to SSG. 4-0, having fought their way through that elimination bracket. Yeah. A lot of talk after Paul saying, hey, what's going on with SSG? You know, right. are they not looking like the champions that we saw just a month or so ago? 
in Salt Lake City, but I mean, they are looking like the team to beat for sure now. Yeah, you know what reminds me of? We said maybe that loss against, keep in mind, it was an open bracket team, very well known open bracket names on LVT. However, it's a loss to an open bracket team for Space Station. And you and I were thinking, maybe the best time for a bad thing to happen. It was the wake up call SSG needed. They have been on an absolute tear through the, the elimination bracket. And now that 4-0 was one of the fastest bracket resets we've even ever seen. The score lines were absurd. They outslay every game and they are looking dangerous. Well, that is the first series done and dusted. A little bit of time to reflect upon what we saw while the players get set up for the second. The bracket reset is just around the corner, but it was going to send it over to Lottie and the guys on the desk to break down what we just saw. Thanks, lads. Yeah, it was very fast indeed, that series. We talked about how hot Space Station Gaming were going to come out. The momentum coming from that team was something that was so difficult for Optic Gaming to go, having to warm up against, kind of go into things, and it was really difficult to slow them down. Clutch, Space Station Gaming have just been light out since SLC. They've had a couple of pickups every now and then, but looking across this grand final so far, 4-0, and oh, the stats are on show right now. I mean, we're seeing the likes of Penguin getting a 1.18. He is stepping up when it makes the most eco a 1.19. And Stellas obviously been lights out. It's actually really strange to see Bound going negative so far in this series considering how well his teammates are playing. But at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter too much. No, it doesn't matter at all, especially when you win four to nothing against how well this Optic Gaming roster was playing. But if you want to call anybody out for really elevating their game into this grand finals, you got to talk about Eco. He was negative going into this series, but for him to have positive results when his team needs him most, that is the big difference to me right now between Space Station Gaming and Optic is Eco has stepped up this time around and with that, they look primed and ready to go the distance of the second best of seven. They certainly do indeed. I want to talk quickly, Tony, about Live Fire. Live Fire tends to be one that Optic definitely favors. How did Space Station just rip that one apart from them? I mean, for me, it's, it, it's really the dominant performance that you saw coming out of Penguin, like you said, not only in the slays department, not only in the damage department, but also those assists on top of that. It literally spread across the entire series. It, it really, Penguin, I, he's a game changer. He, he might just be MVP if he keeps playing like this. He absolutely is my MVP for SSG this weekend. He is playing lights out. He is playing lights out. It's not just statistically either having fantastic gameplay coming forward with slays, but just the heads up action that we have seen time and time again. We've seen it countless times on Argyle. He has been the anchor for this team, but he knows exactly what he needs to do to step up to the mark and really push this team forward into a win. We're looking right now at our reset. And Tony, are you seeing anything in particular here that you want to point out? Are we seeing any repeats in this Grand Finals reset? Uh, for me, I really want to see King of the Hill again. I mean, mind you, Optic only lost by one capture within that King of the Hill, and it was recharged, which might favor Space Station Gaming a little bit more. For King of the Hill in that game number four, we're actually going back to live fire. So I'm really interested in that game number four. I think no matter what, we're not going to see a sweep. I think that game number four does favor Optic, so at a minimum, we should see five or six games this year. Yeah, I really like this map layout for Optic to really have a strong bounce back. That Street Slayer is something that they are all too familiar with throughout this tournament. It has bid them well so far. And that is something that if they are to fall short on Empyrean CTF, they can at least have that as a backbone rebound game. You do not want to continue to lose consecutive games to SSG because every single time SSG win a game this time around consecutively, the confidence from Optic has got to start to waver. The confidence from SSG is only going to continue to build. And although you're coming off a 4-0 sweep and now you're resetting the bracket, you feel the pressure of losing four straight games to this team. You need to figure out a way to win a game early in this first, in this second best of seven. You certainly do indeed. And I think Bob Dick, the rebound and the bounce back is on. Uh, in terms of the maps, though, it definitely favors SSG. In terms of the stats, we've got a 44 to 15. A stat record for Space Station Gaming and a 35 to 20 for Optic. But I do truly believe that Optic having a little bit of a poor results this season has definitely implicated right. those results. And I think here we are seeing a completely different team in Optic Gaming. So don't be too afraid of that, folks. We also do 
didn't have an update on our KD leaderboard right now. And some Ooh. shifts have definitely been happening with all of our players amongst that. The Slays have been coming in and we're seeing actually that Formula Lucid is still here. But Stella, yes, you're right. He's fourth on the board with a 1.21 average right now. Lucid and Formal have dropped down. We've got Royal 2 right up there. I mean, he's just had to have his time, doesn't he, on the, <laughs> the board? Guy's always up there. <laughs> he's had to have his time with a 1.3 averaging here. Uh, of course, Faze out of the tournament right now. Look at your grand finals with Optic and Space Station Gaming. And we see three players on the screens here making the most. And I'm really hoping this duo awakens clutch with Lucid and Formal once again because they have been working together so well. And for me, Formal stepping up as a main slayer this tournament has been absolutely huge in terms of the success that we've seen. He's been unbelievable up until this past series where he was maybe not off his game, but maybe not as loud as we've seen him throughout the entire tournament up until this point. I think Optic were very quiet towards the end of that series. And I think it's partially because SSG did such a good job of getting the power weapons. The S7 was always in their hands. And it was at times where Optic didn't get those power weapons, where they found themselves really losing those games in significant like score line margin right there. So I think if, Op if Optic can do a better job of getting more of the power ups, power weapons throughout this next best of seven, they will stay in this series much longer. So your prediction of Space Station Gaming is looking pretty good right about now, I but like Optic. can Optic Gaming clutch up and provide the ice that they need on that main stage? We'll find out right now. We're going to head back on over to our casters for our grand finals reset. You're hearing that right, people. So over to Bravo and on set. Thank you very much, uh, Lottie and the guys on the desk. It is indeed bracket reset time, Andy. Very excited for this. The first time we've seen it all season. First time we cracked open the bevies and it's time for us to see some more Halo. Now we find ourselves essentially in one series to decide it all, right? Whoever wins this next series will be the champions here in Fort Worth. This is gonna be a series layout just to remind you, SSG winning that first series four to zero you have to wonder what was said in the Optic camp. You really do. I have to agree with Lottie and the guys. Optic Gaming needs something on the board, something to hold on to, a foothold, something to give them a little bit of hope in this series, and it needs to happen early on. And you, if you're a fan of the green wall, you're thinking hopefully it becomes a little bit of something in the form of flags in this first game number one of the Empyrean CTF, a classic Halo game type to kick us off in the Grand Finals reset. Well, the SSG fans were certainly loud in Salt Lake City. The Optic fans are going to have to be just as loud here in Fort Worth if they're going to get their team back into it. Give them that energy. Give them that momentum to turn this series back around. CTF, Imperium, let's start this bracket reset off. Tell you what, for those of you who came here in the room in Fort Worth, you got what you came for. A fantastic grand final, 4-0 to in the form of SSG resetting the bracket. Sending Optic technically to the elimination bracket as well. And as you say, Mark, one series to separate these two for all the marbles here in Fort Worth. The Overshield's gonna go into the chest of bounds, start things off, but Trippy did open up with a double kill. So he should have secured some sort of power weapon or maybe used it to get that double kill. Lucid gonna be scoping across map as well with that S7 in his hand. A good start here for Optic, but there's the response from SSG once again. They got the gaming realizing they've been here before. Everything's evened up now. Ooh, nice little backlight though. Those come in. Formal gets two kills. Formal has the rockets. Use the rockets. Eco has the snipe. Did he connect with that? Has he taken the shields down or will Formal be able to survive in this situation? Formal buying so much time. And here comes the optic help. He's got the repulse as well. Formal's still alive. APG gets one. And all of a sudden, APG finds himself on the back. Whoa! But there's Bound with the kill. That big kill here for Bound. They pick up two. Now it's 2v2 on the map. Big responsibility here for Trippy. I think he's in trouble with those nades. He turns the corner, though. He turns the corner, and here comes Lucid. APG, though, last alive. And it looks like Space Station will hang on. Wow. And send that flag back home. But boy, that's close. An electric start here. And a very, very important set of plays from Bound at the top tower to stop that flag run. You feel like in that situation, as the next push develops, Optic Gaming needed just a little bit more pressure on tower from the first BR from Needles. They weren't able to do that. It kind of let Bound really get away with murder on top. Oh, Trippy once again. King of the green box at the moment. Four dead for Space Station. Stella just come off the respawn as Optic Gaming once again push across that mid map. Trippy just waiting for the help to come in from his teammates. Bound trapped in the corner. Survives for now. Lucid gets that first pick. Now the push 
could be executed here by Optic. Bound taken down. Here comes wow. the push. There's the repulse again. Four dead for SSG. That flag's on the move. Beautiful by Trippy. Look at him on the pit box there. A little bit of damage into cuts. Comes around. Gets more damage into Stellar. Knows that Bound is still there. Finishes the kill on Bound. And repulse into the flag means that flag is coming home for Optic Gaming. Optic Gaming run it home. And all of a sudden, the Optic fans make a little bit of noise here in Fort Worth. Like we said, they needed a reason to believe. They needed something on the board. And it comes in the form of the first flag cap and the first item on the scoreboard for Optic Gaming here. Double kill for APG. Rockets in his hands. And I've said this before, but no one knows this map better. Every single inch, APG knows it. And now he's got a rocket to play with as well. Bound has that overshield though. APG does a great job to negate that. Now, if he can take Bound down, there might be an opportunity for Optic across the map to get a flag moving. Formal was taken down though. Enemy flag return. Yeah. Yo, can anyone look their side? Sorry, I'm gonna do it. He's just saying that they're baiting. They're waiting. Oh, no, they're 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 Two green, 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 two green, two green, push our green. Half shield, half shield, push me our green, our green, 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 I don't even hear him. I don't hear him as two at all. I think he could be sword. Yo, literally just keep playing for Matt's sniper, okay? Sword, sword, sword. Yep. I'm, I'm just saying S2, okay? Yep. Just keep getting different angles here, all right? Sorry, Grim, sorry, Grim. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. Yeah, sniping sword, sniping sword, sniping sword. Yeah, back up. They're S2, they're S2. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sword, sword with heatwave, okay? I'm going sword with heatwave. Yeah, sniping and sword, sniping and sword. Here you go. Chill, two guys mid first, three swords after now. Three swords after now. Sword, sword now, sword now. I'm half shields. I might get hit, I might get hit. Yeah, they're 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 training seller. I'm gonna back up. Yeah, they're walking. I hear them walking on me. I hear them walking on me. Yeah, last on, 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 our sword sniper, I got one. Two, two. Sword window, or sword window. Going our core, I think. Core, core, yeah. sniper, core, sniper. One shot, one shot. One shot. He's our first. 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 He's our Green, go, 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 Two first, two first, we can go. Well, a little bit of a surprise listening, but we heard what Optic are all about. A defensive stand initially, and now they get aggressive. A killing spree for Formal. Optic trying to pressurize the SSG base. And I gotta say, based off the first slide cap and what we just heard in the listening, it feels like it's a different Optic gaming here in this reset. So whatever they've said backstage has gotten them this far. It's a lead in the game after five minutes of play. Trippy, I'll tell you what, he's 15 and eight in this game, and the amount of BR battles that he's won on the map, very, very impressive from big game trip. Bound though, he's got that overshield, takes down Lucid, should be a pretty comfortable double kill for him. And that's exactly what it will be. Now Trippy, you got another battle to win here, but this time it's against Bound, he's on a double. Can he find three? Of course he can. The repulse off the wall to get that angle would have caught anyone off guard. Oh, a very nice angle there to avoid the lift as well. Little plays like that that buy him extra shield here. Still too dead for Optic Gaming. Oh, big, 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 big defensive play there with that sidekick. Space Station, keep the pressure on though, keep flooding forward. APG moving through the pit will take down Trippy. Stella now gonna be taken down as well. Two dead for SSG, this is a dead push. That listening, just a great opportunity from Optic Gaming. We saw the composure from their back pit, excuse me, from their plat, knowing exactly what they needed to do here to shut down the push. You heard Lucid saying things like, two players coming our training right now and they're catching them off guard. This would be big if Lucid could steal the snipe as well. Stella might think about playing it. Might be thinking about it. Doesn't Maybe get, should have done it. Doesn't get the play. Now Lucid's got it, and Lucid says, hey, I'll get it off the map for you. So Optic have the advantage. Having a sniper rifle on the map, SSG, they have none. Lucid being a pain here as well for SSG to deal with, and all the time that he's distracting, you know that the rest of Optic are moving up. Stella comes back for revenge and gets it. Important for shot there from Stellar. If he lets that go longer, there's a good chance it ends up trading, and I think Stellar needed that on the push. Here comes Trippy back. Nice little reset there to clean out the base. Just to highlight how good a game Trippy's having, by the way. The next closest to him in kills, bound and formal on 10 apiece. Trippy's on 19. 19 kills for Joey. As Optic now approach the five minutes left in this game mark, and if they can go forward and get another cap, then they might be back in this series.
What a story trippy has been across Halo Infinite. Just becoming one of the best players in the game. Game in, game out, statistically. Cheeky backwag as well. Alongside the mid bridge, as you say, less than five minutes left in the game. And Optic Gaming, for the first time in our grand finals, is out slaying their opponents. Right now, it's 49 to 36 in the slay category. Lucy trying to stay alive as well, but the help is now coming. And all of a sudden, Space Station have pressure on the Optic base. Formal has to win this. Formal does win this. And Formal might be able to take down Stellar as well. Huge defensive plays from Matthew Piper. Is that 1v1 an indication? Is that telling us that we have a different Optic Gaming in these Grand Finals? That's the question. Formal picks up another kill as well. The Rockets have been ex used up here. As Lucid goes forward, it's three dead for SSG, and there's an overshield in front of you. Another one picked up here by Lucid, and Optic looking different. Four dead. Penguin's your first spawner. He tries to get sneaky in the corner. Lucid was wise to it. He'll trade again. It's another four dead for SSG. Here comes what could be Optic's second flag run. Needs to clear out Stella, though. Optic know this more than anyone. They're not going to force this flag. They're going to play for the kills. This time it doesn't work out, but the pressure on the base was enough. Bound, shredded by that assault rifle. Three dead here for SSG. Eco was your last player alive. 3.33 left on the clock, and with each passing minute, Optic Gaming is closer to closing out this first game, but still three and a half left against SSG. Easier said than done. Can they hold? Well, we're going to find a heat wave here. Can't quite get it. There we go. Picks that one up. As now he can hold down the sword side of the map. Eco gonna be up on that tower once more. Has no idea of maybe, just maybe SSG looking a little bit flustered here. Still time for them to play with. But that's the second time we've seen Eco kind of caught off guard on the tower. I think it's really like we talked about. Optic Gaming needed a game type like this. Find some footing. Allow yourselves to talk through each and every play. Empyrean CTF really offers you that luxury. And they've taken advantage of that to the fullest. 2.45 left on the clock. Can't quite connect with Stella there. Now I have to wrap back. Has to hit some more shots. Penguin's got a snipe himself as well. So this could be a battle of snipers right now. Lucid, if he hits a body, if he hits a head, then Optic move one step closer to maybe closing this game out and going up one to zero in the bracket reset. Look how trippy an APG stack long haul. You can almost bet they're going to get this kill. They do. It's a perfect piece of teamwork there. Take a look. Lucid just quarterbacking from the top turret. He's able to tell exactly what they need to do around the long haul and needles to pick up those kills. I will so they say, though, this game plan from Optic is risky because if they don't get the kills, they give up their side of the map and they will be fought in on their is. side of the map. Exactly Lucid what you're has about. to hit shots as now SSG recognize they can flood through the long haul. What can Formal do here? Formal and the kill feed will be big. He does get at least one trade. OS drop is here is big and Luce is going to win that 1v1. Four dead for SSG. The defensive play works. And now it's time to go forward. One minute 50 on the clock. Optic have rockets. They have Lucid with snipe and they have an overshield. Go and win the game, Optic. You can get this first one on the board. APG realizes it's go time. Two dead, he's gonna fly in, just clear out the other side of the mauler. He goes your last player alive here. He gets him without trading. It's big, that'll be another four dead. That flag will continue running, and you can bet it is going home. APG is decimating. Ops for Optic Gaming, he clears the way for Trippy. But the green wall get loud. It's one flag at the moment. But in about five seconds time, it's going to be two. Optic with their second flag on the board. And with 1.12 on the clock, you feel like that is the salt in the wound, the icing on the cake for Optic Gaming and the green wall. Now, 60 seconds left of defense for Optic Gaming. Bounce steps on that landmine again. And now it's just a case of racking them up for Optic Gaming. The hard work has been done. Two flags converted as Trippy approaches a 30-kill game. Make no mistake, take a look at the kills category on the Space Station side. Trippy almost doubling that of anyone on the SSG squad. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. Just about enough time, you would say, for SSG if you are perfect with this run. 30 seconds remaining. Looks like it's not going to happen, though. Two dead for Optic. Trippy with his sidekick. Pressure coming in now. 20 seconds left on the game clock. It will have to be back to back. It will have to be perfect. But again, you've got to deal with Formal. He'll find one, he'll find two, making a trip on Formal. Three dead, he shuts down SSG single-handedly. 
seconds away from the overkill. But what's most important, as Lucian looks towards his teammates for the optic side, is they will take game number one of your grand finals reset. Don't go anywhere. Optic are back in this series. And those emotions have changed. Optic refocused, revitalized, and up one in the bracket reset. How quickly things can change. And I do love that a member of the green wall has become our thermometer, <laughs> our check on <laughs> how the green wall is doing. The emotional thermometer. <laughs> if he's smiling, Optic's <laughs> winning. And right now he's smiling, <laughs> along with the rest of the Optic Gaming roster. They will outslay their opponents in that game, 89. <laughs> to 57. Yeah, he's back in it. If and that, the green ball's back in it as well. If that man's not running around with the game attack, the emotional thermometer by, <laughs> by, the, by next weekend, then I'm going to be disappointed. But for Optic Gaming, signs of life. Don't get me wrong. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's the first signs of life we've yeah. seen. Swept aside, 4-0 to zero in that first series. But my God, for the confidence, for the belief that you could win this, Andy, you gotta win that first game, and it's exactly what they did. But they did it in style. They did it in the optic way. They look like a team once again. They really do. And I think we talk a lot about the green wall being alive here, but of course, they're gonna be alive on their side of the stage as well. After a two to zero win, Empyrean CTF is just what the doctor ordered for the green wall. APG, refocus as well on your screen. And as we said, outslaying by over 30 in that game, that tells you a lot about this team being reset. We're getting ready for Slayer on Streets. Slayer Streets, we've seen Optic win tournaments on this game type. Speaking of stats though, so far in this tournament, or I should say in this season, Slayer Streets six and five for Optic, SSG nine and one. The one thing I will look out before we head to Streets is this run from APG to secure this second cap, man. I love this. Look, quick little strafe. Make sure he doesn't get hit by the needles. He stays alive and doesn't even trade. Gets even more on the tower. Guess what? Stellar flying on courtyard. Also eliminated. Thereafter, he gets another kill. Top tower. Take a look at this. Pitches Penguin there. And it was a picture perfect. Textbook pit flag set of plays here from APG. Another kill as Trippy runs that flag home. And don't forget, Trippy actually Chokes his flag run for a second. He takes damage on the flat. If APG doesn't take all those kills, that flag might not have gone. Also, just something to point out at the end of it. APG kills everyone. What does he do? Blocks the needle spawns. Blocks the baller spawns. Moves his body into a position that's going to force SSG to spawn on that courtyard. Everyone else then knows their responsibility. They can tunnel vision those respawners to secure that cap. And that's exactly what happens. Life from Optic Gaming. One up in the grand finals reset. Now we move, though, to Streets. We move to Slayer, and a game type that's only been lost once this season by SSG. The trademark air fist bump comes down the line from Chippery and APG, and you can just tell by looking at that down the line camera shot that that team is revitalized here. Question is, how does SSG bounce back after an unbelievable 4-0? They now find themselves trailing for the first time in the entire evening. Looks like we're going to build the tension for just a few more moments before we get into this game number two. And I just wonder what was said. I'm sure everybody who sat at home is wondering what was said between the four Optic Gaming members, five Optic Gaming members, I should say. How dare I? Might have even been Lunchbox I was going to say, Lunchbox is probably the one saying yeah. exactly what they needed to hear. That was certainly the case at the Halo World Championship, where they bounced back. And Mark, you said it earlier, but how history can repeat itself. And right now, we have been exactly identical to the way that things played out at the Halo World Championship. To then come into a Grand Finals reset after Optic Gaming was absolutely slammed around in that first series, they now lead 1-0. to zero. Speaking of the man on your screen, how many influential plays did he have? That final moment, shutting down all of the Space Station players. Now, don't get it twisted, don't get it wrong. Damage, of course, coming in from other Optic Gaming members. This 1v1 on Stella. At 1-0, if he doesn't win that, the support is there for Stella to get that flag moving. He was so clutch in so many big moments. And how about Trippy's numbers? Once again, at this stage in the game, he's 21 and 12. Nobody else close to him remotely in the stats category. And this is when things start to get out of hand, right? Here's a nice push here from Lucid as well. He picks up another one top turret, I believe, on Eco. And they just continue holding forward. Perfect timing. Also, remember, that's the point where they were split in the map. 
right? They had to get two kills on Needles and Long, they had to get two kills on Midbridge, and they just played it absolutely perfectly. And of course, almost getting the overkill at the end of the game as well. To shut down the push from SSG. That man on your screen, a lot good that happens for Optic Gaming is on his shoulders and how he plays. In that game that we just saw, he was outstanding. Slayer Streets though, we should refocus though, Andy, because Optic needs to kind of upset the records here to take this game. They really do. And Formal locked in, like you said, look, to get that triple at the end, almost an over, it's a big deal. As we alluded to earlier, here's your Streets Slayer stats this season. Six and five for Optic Gaming, a very, very close record with several losses on the board. And as Onset mentioned earlier, nine and one for SSG in this game type. Team KD and average margin unsurprisingly heavily in their favor as well. I will say it's one thing, a couple of things I think that Optic could have learned by watching how SSG approached this game type though, right? When the Rockets are coming up, SSG aren't afraid to play the rest of the map based on that power weapon dropping. That means you can't tunnel focus onto those Rockets where they are dropping mid-map. Because SSG used the fact that there aren't guns maybe on other parts of the map that are looking at those Rockets to try and secure them to hit a quick flank, to double push one of those streets and really catch you off guard. So Optic are going to have to be aware of that. And also the pace that SSG play this game type, Andy. They are not afraid. If they get damaged, they will flood, they will fly, they will try and keep even those they will really punish. And I think Optic Gaming needs to realize just how well they played and controlled that entire game number one. And if you can do that in Street Slayer and the rest of these games, you're going to have a very good chance in this series. But SSG, as you say, is going to be flying at you. They're going to be pushing every advantage and they'll be looking to pick you apart. This opening rush so important in Street Slayer. Well, here we go then. Optic up by one in our grand finals reset. If they want to go up by two, they're going to have to steal a game type away from SSG that they've only lost once this season. Game two in the previous series, Stella took over. Formal was quiet, but how that story changed in the first game of the reset. 2.13 KD from Stella in that game two Slayer in our first series. Unbelievable numbers. Kills traded out immediately. One rocket down here on B-Stairs. You need an example. If you need to just uh, check that we were on land, check that rocket, because that did a lot of splash damage. As Lucid now has the Stalker rifle. Optic going to collect that second rocket as well. So they do have control of the power weapons, all of the power, all of the guns in the hands of Lucid here. He's got to be so careful he doesn't give these away. Ooh. Penguin tries to bait it out, but in the end, Lucid places it perfectly. Look how careful he's being here, though. He knows that he cannot be the player to fall in this situation. Keeps that Stalker rifle and a lead here for Optic. They're up by four. Really well done there, as you said. Lucid just tiptoeing around every grenade. When you're playing B-Stairs and Crates, you need to make sure you're aware of Pillar's pressure, Neon's pressure. And he does it perfectly, and it leads to four consecutive kills. Now they're up seven to three. Mound's still trapped in PD as well. You can see the Optic are trying to hunt him down, but they don't want to overcommit. Look at this. They've rotated away from PD to try and see if they can catch Space Station in a 4v3 elsewhere on the map. SSG, though, slow this game down, which is somewhat un un uncharacteristic of what we expect from them. Here comes the push on Pillars. Let's see how Lucid responds. Go pushed up into the arcade. Lucid knows he's here. Gonna hear that slide as well, that audio cue, and smartly decides to dip out. Numerous players. There's the flank. Bound does get one though, so he knows that the flank isn't the best idea right now. Might be found in a position where he's gonna be caught out by three players. Staying alive, keeping this stalker in his hands, the most important thing. Really confusing base trade happening right now, and Lucid's playing it perfectly. He knew he was not going to get the damage he needed from Tyre, so he comes all the way back to the L and Tram stairs to help out with these kills, and that maintains a lead for Optic Gaming. Now you're seeing a little bit of a pinch, a, a pinch for Space Station as Optic do get taken down. Rocket's coming up in five seconds. Eco slides out into the L. APG going to be taken down here as well by Eco, and Eco stays alive, and now Lucid finds himself in a really sticky spot as Optic will lose two, just as those rockets are about to pop, it's bound. Who's picked them up? Very nice rocket there, placed into the tire's roof. Make sure he does a maximum splash damage there. Now he'll sit rails. And they bring the game within one. It's oh, very, wow. very good rotations coming in from SSG Bound, wants to chase. He wants to chase, but APG does a phenomenal job of staying alive there. These oh. two grenades finally will be taken down as the pace starts to step up in this game. 2v2 on the map, Optic still with a two kill lead. Calling the bartender, it's a perfect nade there onto the bar. In. PD, he picks up the next one there. And as we said, they keep the game within one. It's another trade here, a double kill for Bound. Still a one kill lead for Optic Gaming, two dead for them. Optic gonna be pretty happy with this, I think, considering that they didn't get the hands of the previous set of rockets. Trippy not gonna be too happy with that spawn, though, is no. it? Fort finds, him spot, uh, finds himself, excuse me, spawning into the ret reticle of Penguin. Wow, look at the team shot from the stairs there from Lucid. It's a really big deal there. Penguin thought he could get away, sneak through the dumpsters. He gets caught in the trash. 
And that gives the opening here for Optic. And look at Optic. Look at the pace they're playing at. They're getting damage, they're getting kills, they are flying. They want to end this game. They want to put the pressure back onto SSG. They're extending this lead now to four. It's a full team wipe needed for SSG to equal things up. That was a big moment there from Lucy to get that opening pick. However, though, Space Station responds with a very important pair of kills to keep this game within two. Take a look here, Lucid. Oh, and a trade there, Eco somehow stays alive to make it two dead for Optic. And now, just like that, it's a one kill game. And there's a Stalker in the hands of SSG right now as well. Rockets Ooh. are going to be coming up pretty soon. Nope, it's out of there, Eco. After taking a little bit of damage. Stella trying to help his buddy out. A couple of spikes go into the red room. Trippy's going to feel those ones for sure. APG now makes the plays. Trippy picks up one, Lucid picks up one. The bait is perfect from APG as they gobble up those kills. And now Optic moving into a perfect position to maybe grab these rockets. Eco falls, it's four dead for SSG. Two dead there again. Off the back of that, Trippy means two rockets in hand and a three kill lead. He's probably gonna retreat with these rockets. Just try to hold down tires for a moment. SSG starts to make the push here on B side. Talk about the things that don't show up in the stat screen. APG baiting himself on those Arcade stairs, right? Just jumping up and down, walks in, gets a little bit of damage, turns the attention of three players from SSG away. Doesn't come out with a kill, but creates opportunities for the rest of his teammates to do so. Four kills the difference. It could be more if Trippy could put these rockets to use. What's the play call going to be here? We've seen Optic Gaming many, many times in a Street Slayer with the rockets in their hands. Optic just completely slowed this game down to a crawl. I think even a crawl might be a little bit too quick on the pace. They are stood still at the moment, saying to SSG, come and find us. I think the only way to play this correctly is to hear the play call from Optic Gaming directly. Let's get into a listening. Uh, the scan on our cage so that Joey I, can maybe just rock it. I know, I will, I will. Yeah, I will. Yeah. But I don't, I don't think he's there. No, just, no, I'm just saying, playing. we should just use it. It's going to spawn up soon. It's okay, actually, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just, just use it. It's going to be on yeah, our cage. Use it, like, just use it, like, it off that wall. Yes, yeah. use that rocket, Joey. Use that rocket. The comms are pretty hectic and it's no surprise why this game has become very, very hectic, but it's Trippy who finally finds those rockets. The formal threw down as he fell to the floor. It's a three kill advantage still to Optic Gaming, but SSG really, really pushing them to their limits. It's a really important rocket grab there for Trippy. Even though he burned the first one, he used the second one. More importantly, they're not in the hands of Space Station. However, just a two kill game now as Lucy gets taken down on driveway. Oh, Formal gets the stick on Eco as well. That just quells the momentum. Bound. He picks up one as well. APG gets the beat down, but Bound is going to come away from that fight with his life and a double. It's a one kill game now between our two squads. Difficult to overstate the importance in this game, in this series. Do we see Optic Gaming leading 2 to 0? Or will we be tied up 1 to 1 heading into game number 3? Here comes the push. And look at the timing for Bound. He waited on that weapon pad. He saw the Stalker was coming up. And now he can put it to use. Huge DPS available. Bound is going to be the anchor that everybody plays off as SSG find themselves down by one, but with the weapons to get themselves back in it. Curious if there might be a Red Room player there. You could just tell on the SSG side. Want to make sure there's nobody in Arcade, nobody in Red Room. Stalker still not having an impact. In the meantime, we saw Trippy pick up one. Formal. Going to be challenging. Bound has to back down as the Rockets now come up. This could be the game deciding moment. The L gets pushed. APG will fall. 
Two kills here for SSG. Just the one for Optic Gaming. But now it's four dead. As the push from Bound is perfect. And the Rockets go into the hand of Stella. As do the lead. What a set of plays here. It's perfectly timed on the Rocket grab. And now a two kill lead for SSG. Everything has turned around here in the late game. And still one Rocket to play with for Stellar. Optic not showing. Oh boy. Until now, no connection. That rocket might have grabbed both of them on the commando, but it hits the rail instead of the back commando. I gotta say, Optic are gonna be thanking their lucky stars. APG gets one onto Penguin as well. And I mean, Stella doesn't miss with a sniper rifle, but that rocket might come back to haunt him. Trippy, trading. APG manages to get one. He will fall as well, and all of a sudden, Optic in the lead again. Will that rocket come back to haunt SSG? That's the question, 46-45, a one kill lead for Optic Gaming, somehow avoiding the explosions as the Let's Go Optic chant erupts in the building. Shroud screen and a couple of stickies alongside the old trusty battle rifle for Trippy here. Trippy 15 and 14 in this game. As once again, we see the game come to a standstill. One kill, the difference between the two, Andy, this could not be tighter. You can tell just how much this game means to these two teams. It will completely change the direction of this series here. Comes here comes a push. Formal moves in, Formal gets one. Traded out immediately. Trippy has to use that shroud though to keep himself alive. It's still a one kill game. Trippy moves in. Stella, 1v1, won't win it. Trippy comes out on top of the trade again from Eco. 48, 47 here, one kill separating the two. Avoids the nade bound though, ties it up at 48. Lucid has the stalker. Rockets coming up as well. Would be a surprise to see someone grab them. Look at Penguin. Look at Penguin. Penguin's going bottom. Look at the play here. that he's making. Eco gets one. Penguin gets the prize. Lucid gets one. It's all tied up. 49, 49. Trippy wins it. Trippy wins it for Optic. Big game, Trippy. Wow. Trippy leads the entire game with 17 kills. And then clutches up your 50th kill to win 50-49 in bottom tram. Smiles on the faces of Optic Gaming. Trippy already talking through that last play. And just like that, it is a one kill margin that gives them the two to zero series lead. And a very different scoreline from our first grand finals. What an unbelievable street slayer that was. I mean, we've got to watch it from this man's point of view. Surely we have the opportunity. Trippy, the 1v1 with Stella initially, hits the shots under pressure. But I think just getting out of this situation and surviving for a few moments, almost as important. Huge, and look, watch the way he approaches Stellar in Arcade after the Shroud. He's getting comms here. Watch how he looks around the corner. He knows Stellar is there, goes in with the confidence, gets the first shot, wins the 1v1 to bring this game to 48-47. Backs up immediately, does get traded out. And then the game again comes to a stand here. At this point, this play from Penguin, I thought the SSG had snuck through the defenses of Optic, and we're in a position to win this. Look at Penguin here, Lucid pinging the stairs. They don't know he's there yet. Such an important win here, and look at this at 49-49. Who else but Trippy on the driveway to come through and get the kill. APG pops off. We got popcorn flying here. The green wall's back in action. Got people popping off, we got popcorn flying. And we have a complete and utter momentum shift here in Fort Worth. If you're just joining us, this is the second of a series we've seen between these two teams in this grand final. Space Station took the first one 4-0. It didn't look close. They outclassed Optic Gaming. We go into the reset and Optic Gaming find life. Two up now as we head into game number three. Strongholds on recharge. Wow. We are getting our money's worth here in Fort Worth. We take a look live at the Optic Gaming roster here, the side of the stage. And this would have been brought about likely by a timeout coming in from SSG. Of course, after a few games in these grand finals, the players are allowed with the station referees to take timeouts here. 
Likely it came, of course, from the SSG side. As a result, though, you will see Optic Gaming backstage with a timeout as well. They'll take advantage of that opportunity to speak. Talk about how to refocus up for these next two games as well. And you can see how these teams work from uh, behind the scenes here. Such a kind of passionate moment between the teams. You know, everybody having their turn to say something, having their influence on how they want to approach things. And you can see the difference between the reset and the difference between wow. that first series. 0.89 and 0.97 for Trippy and Formal, respectively, in the first. But since that reset, both of them, quite simply, frying. Unbelievable. Kept in the negative, both of them. How often do you see that, that either of those two players would be kept in the negative in the series? Now they're well positive, to say the very least. It's a 50-49 game two to just change the entire direction of this series. As I said, if we're tied one to one, it's so different than Optic Gaming being two games away here with a two game lead as well. Players back on the stage. Question is, was the SSG talk as effective or will it be as effective as the Optic one was between series? Because Optic don't look like they can be stopped at this point. The one thing that might be able to stop them is the game type and the map, because this is an SSG game type. SSG is eight and one in Stronghold Recharge. Optic three and six. A double negative losing record here for your Optic side of the stage, whereas SSG coming in with an enormous eight and one in this game type. We'll see if they can use this as an opportunity to refocus, to find the same form that they did in that first series. That's the question. I remember this time last year, we were talking about the resilience of Optic Gaming, right? It was so close so many times, and then they went on the run. They got that first win on the board. Then it was another World Championship. Talk of the three-peat. Almost managed to get there. But now, once again, they've been tested over the last few months. We know what pressure the Optic jersey comes with, right? A lot of impassioned fans who want to see them do well, who want to see them lift trophies. That's the bar, that's the expectation for any team that represents Optic Gaming. And when you don't quite meet that bar, questions are going to be asked. But Optic now, at the money end of the season, here at the Fort Worth Major, just ahead of the Halo World Championships, chose to stick together, to see it out, to put in the hard work. Back in the grand final step one, but what a way to silence a few people if they managed to take this home. You bring up a great point there. Players would have been asking, when Optic was placing top six, was a team change coming in? The answer was no and it now is showing for good reason. Taking a look here also at Stellar and Eco. In their grand finals, a 1.43 for Stellar and a 1.19 for Eco. How different that KD is here in the reset. And they're two players who kind of are synonymous with the success of SSG. When those two players are playing well, SSG don't get beaten very often. And you can see in the stats exactly the story kind of painted in front of you, right, in the numbers. This game type, though, like I mentioned, is an opportunity for SSG to get back on track. A little break here just to quell the momentum, potentially, of Optic, to refocus, to talk through the fundamentals, what the game plan is, and remind yourself that about 40 minutes ago, you just 4 0 Optic. Right, on top of the world. For Optic to be keeping Stellar to a 0.56 KD is a statement, to say the least. Let's not forget, Seller is always just one game away from getting back into his Salt Lake City form. Fist bumps are going down, everybody. The talk is over. The time for gameplay is ahead of us. The game is loading in the background and Optic Gaming. Having found some form, now head towards Stronghold's recharge. And maybe if they win this one, only one game away from another trophy. You have to wonder, on the SSG side, what is the tone? As you said, Mark, so perfectly, would have been on top of the world in that last series and realizing that they were probably even thinking, hey, we're gonna feel great going into Worlds with games like this. And Optic Gaming digging deep, not just in that Empyrean CTF, but in the Street Slayer. So we get it to game number three. Anticipation has been built, but now it's time for action. The talking is done. A trippy immediately in this game number three. Gets away with a camo for Optic. It's three dead off the rim for SSG. And Optic already flipping B. Oh boy. And look at this. Enemy trippy with camo shock as well off the open. 
and SSG in a little bit of trouble. Lucid picks up two. They're going to get a comfortable reset here as well. Eco trying to skulk around the back of the Hydro. And I'll tell you what, that timing on that jump, pretty good from Trippy. Will maybe send Eco off the map here? No, gets the beat down, but most importantly, stays alive with the camo. Shock! Oh, oh boy. my god, speaking of shock, Stella just got one. So did Bound! What is going on here? Trippy with the grapple and then He's the swiping. back of the neck. Just at the perfect angle there. I think he was at the 46 degree mark to just perfectly hit that back of the neck and it counts as the back smack. That's a trip cap for Optic. Eco trying to push across the oh mid bridge. My. Beheaded by King Trippy. Big game trip and Optic right now outslaying 10 to 2 and they are winning 75 to 0 in this game. Unbelievable. SSG make a break though. They're inside of A, they're gonna flip B as well. Even with Formal trying to approach this, Eco got out of dodge. So scoring will turn over to Space Station for just a second, but the impact of that early triple cap that came in for just a few moments can be seen on our scores. 83 to 12, bound with that green gun, will exchange it for a shock rifle and have a little peek at a prod, and he takes down Lucid as well. Wow, it was such good routing for Formal to stay alive, to go into needles, stay alive, to drop into the pit, be able to repulse up, but Bound shuts it down right away, and such important timing as Camo's popping up. SSG's right back in this game, and only down by 50. I want to talk about APG here. It might seem like such a small thing, but it adds up to Trippy having Camo. The timing on his peak from Glass takes the attention away from Bound for just half a second. It's all Trippy needed to get in, get out with that Camo. The teamwork from Optic on display there for everyone. Trippy steps out and gets spotted. This is big from Eco. Wow, big play. Formal was your last player alive for Optic Gaming. And what was just an 83-point lead is now just a 30-point lead. Space Station get back into this one, finding a little bit of rhythm. It's a two-cap for now, but that AB setup, we know how solid it can be. You can watch the crosses from the tower, from gold. And it's so difficult to get anywhere near any of these strongholds without having to do a little bit of damage cross map first. And now the Optic Gaming chance and SSG chance fighting against one another in the crowd as well. And this game is essentially tied up. Optic Gaming got a free 83-point start. It has been erased by Space Station Gaming. Look at this. Space Station starting to just slow down a little bit. Almost play an Optic Gaming game. Baiting, switching, making sure that there's not pressure coming in. Trippy will get the conversion. But Trippy should be taken down. There should be another flip coming in now for SSG. Formal walks in. He'll be taken down as well. Great baiting and switching again from SSG. Oh APG just about manages to scarf to the gold stairs. Oh boy, he's in trouble though. Nades are coming in and the shots. It's a killing spree for Eco on your screen here. He's six and three in this game. Lead swap here. SSG into the lead. Stella. Quiet in the first two games, but now he's got a shock rifle they can make some noise with. Trippy's gonna feel it. What do we say? Always only one game away, only one play away is Stellar from absolutely popping off and reminding us why many right now call him the best in the game. SSG leading for the first time in this series. Look at this aggressive push as well on the long haul. Most people try and spawn people here. SSG wanna try and take over. I think they're thinking about a triple cap here, playing for Z. APG trapped in the tower alongside Trippy. Formal back on the map to defend, but Penguins moved in in the meantime and grabbed that camo. On the scoreboard, it's essentially a 140-point unanswered run after trailing 83 to 0. Space Station Gaming showing us that they have a lot of life left in this series. Spotted out for just a second here, Penguin. Hasn't got long left on this camo, but you can see that the setup is very turbine heavy from Space Station at the moment. Optic look like they want to try and break through. They're going to flood through. Penguin manages to find one. It should be an easy couple for him. Oh my goodness, Trippy gets taken down as well. The reversal coming in from Penguin. Lucid on his own. And look at that score. Bit by bit, second by second, SSG are starting to dominate this scoreline. It's another three dead here for SSG. And now on the home stretch as they cross the 180 mark. Let's get into a listen in with Space Station. Nice. Hey, hey, watch out, watch out, make watch out, make out, camo jump, not one sure. Two so guys orange door, one guy top red. Gonna be Ballage. Ballage, Ballage, Ballage. Ballage, Ballage, Ballage. Bottom BR, bottom BR, guys. Ballage, watch out, Ballage. That's Bond Day, that's Bond Day. Camo jump, wait, C-box as well, C-box as well. Got him. Watch out, 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 watch out
We've heard from SSG, it's time to jump over to Optic. They had a momentary triple cap, they're scoring once again. Come on, I well, Optics intensity is there, but the result aren't quite. 223 in Rising. SSG hold off the push. As Lucid has responsibility here to get some kills, with his two teammates have fallen, and SSG have a triple cap for a moment. Unbelievably dangerous here, the 234 mark. Lucid needs to stay alive here at B. Might get repulsed straight out of it though, he's inside, here comes Trippy! Trippy might get the conversion! C has been flipped momentarily though. 2v2. Make it four more left on his own and Space Station might be looking to answer back themselves in this series. The first one on the board for SSG! The reset stands at 2-1 now. As Space Station answer back. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, it's one of the best grand finals we've seen in Halo Infinite, without a doubt. And we are still yet to declare a winner as this grand finals, in terms of total elapsed time, becomes one of our longest ever in the game. Two to one now in favor of Optic. What a response from SSG, right? Crowd starting to get against you. Optic fans making noise. Down 83 to zero. Down 83 to zero, and all of a sudden, they just start to click again. That two cap, by the way, the two cap that they held for what felt like a hundred points, Optic just could not get out. Space Station only outslays 41 to 40. Yes, so efficient. By the way, look at Trippy's camp here. Watch, watch, wait, wait, wait. Someone said something. Oh, we missed it. Someone said something funny about what he just did. He just started giggling, which is a good thing to see. I'm sure it wasn't giggling at the end of it though. But the SSG do get that win. But this is the two cap that starts here. This win on A, see Formal flies in as well. He thinks there's only one player, or one shot he can clear up. But this AB hold, you'll see it in the scoreline. I agree, it was an expensive push there. For Trippy to be your last player alive and commit to A fully, and to send Formal in as well. That was really the beginning of that run for SSG. That's for play at the end of the game from Optic. SSG get the kills required. They hold AC. They get the win on the board. And I've got to be honest, I can't stop smiling, man. This is such a great final. It's a, an honor and a privilege to be calling this one. But we've still got a lot of Halo ahead of us. Next up, King of the Hill Live Fire. We saw Live Fire last series, of course. We'll see it again here in your next game. We'll take a look at some stats from King of the Hill so far between these two teams in Fort Worth. We can take a look at the stats in front of you right now. The season itself, very interesting as well. Pretty similar between the two teams. Just to update you on that, King of the Hill live fire across the season, five and two SSG, four and two Optic Gaming. The perfect game type, you could say. Formal coming in with your highest KD on Optic. Penguin though, your highest damage on the SSG side. Big standout KD, of course, going to be that 1.3 across both sides of the stage that comes in from Formal. Once again, 8-1 for SSG at Fort Worth. Live Fire and Matt, the SSG will have fond memories of from that first series though. Remember the oddball game, they completely took over. But this is a different game type. It's so crazy how the same map can play so differently 
dependent upon the game type, right? You have this constant flow and rotation with that odd ball, which SSG love. But now you have that more set up, strategical way of holding the map in King of the Hill. And that, you would say, historically has been the Optic Gaming game plan. So this is a very difficult one to judge how it's going to go, but it's a very important game in the series. If SSG get it, we're all tied up. If Optic Gaming win this game, they are one game away from being your champions. So much riding on this, and you have to think with SSG's last win, totally changes once again this entire series. Everything's still to play for here. Lots of games left in your Grand Finals reset here. On board with Formal. First hill, of course, going to be over at green. Stella got away with that sniper rifle, which is always a worry for anyone. Especially Trippy. Trippy does get taken down as SSG find themselves two down, though. Optic win the slaying battle and do momentarily have control of that hill, too. Stella trying to work with Eco, though, to clean out the back of the tower. But there's Formal, he's got a heat wave. Could be a problem. SSG, though, they're going to grab the overshield as well, so they've got the tools to break. They really do. Gonna be some Nest Bridge angles here. APG's already on Nest, which is dangerous. They need to make sure they take him out. Two players from Optic still trapped inside of the garage as well, and SSG just hunting them down at the moment. You can see the Penguin can't find anyone to shoot at the moment. Finally, it does, and wow. then there's too many of them. Optic come out of the cracks. A perfect triple team. What can Bound do, though? Just gonna try to fly into green. Has to fight against the Shroud as well. Optic buying the time for those shields to come back. APG gets one. Eco. He'll trade it out, but Lucid's still waiting with that dastardly sidekick to clean things out. 2v2. Two more players from Space Station trapped at the back of the green. And look how back and forth this is. It's back and forth, back and forth, and finally SSG will win that fight. My question was, where's APG? And this tells you he has to retreat to Rad Tunnel. He has to wait for help. They had about 75% of the progress done here, but this is now dangerous. They need to construct a very good push here as SSG crosses the 50% mark. APG knows this as well, right? He knows that he can't do anything unless the rest of Optic Gaming are on the map. Looks like the play call is to try and wrap tower. There's the first pick from Lucid. However, APG has no idea there's someone behind him. He's trying to help the players in the hill. Maybe just a little bit of tunnel vision there. As Stella was being a nuisance, but Lucid has got the kills. Lucid has broken through. And Lucid, with that double, has given control to Optic. Look at this. Stella in bounce positioning. This should be an Optic kill. SSG so close, but if we learn anything, the close isn't good enough in this game type. Optic break at the last second, SSG fall, and Optic up 1-0. to zero. And so important that APG gets that melee on Mud. If he doesn't get that melee on Mud, you're going to have a lot more tower pushes coming in from this side from SSG. Instead, that melee alone keeps them at bay, and it will lead to an Optic gaming point on the board. Overshield here for APG as well. There's another kill for him. Penguin sent down the chimney. Lucid will be collecting the pieces. Bound, he'll be picked oh up boy. as well. It's one by one. Space Station are falling and Optic starting to flow. Eco barely gets away to scoreboard. That will result in spawns coming in for the SSG side and APG just picking them off one by one. This is more points on the board for Optic Gaming. Here comes the guns push. APG still stood inside of that hill. We'll get the trade. It's 2v2 at the moment. Lucid cleaning things up though. Bound with a two shot beat down. We'll get the kill. Trippy looking to chase it down instead. Says, you can survive for now, Bound. But I'm coming back for you, buddy. Eco. Challenges smartly as well. Trippy can't hit. Look like he could decide if he wanted to try and hit the nose scope. Or back down. Instead, Formal now has to start to play with. Ooh, look at this play. Look at this play. Jukes Penguin out. Very nice angles there to jump down at the dummies and come right back up the ramp. And now just continuing to deal damage across top middle. So it's an uncontested hill for Optic. It's going to be 2 to 0, and Formal puts a punctuation on it by taking down Eco. Optic 2 to the good. Wow, and extra damage as well for that killing spree to hit and that shot to hit across sandbags as you have the power up popping and the hill rotate and everything now 2 to 0, 340 left. 3 dead. SSG 3 dead as well. Eco might be going down as well. He gets the stick from the grave. Or at least the kill with that plasma grenade and keeps the sniper rifle in the hands of Optic. Lucid now picks it up. Shroud goes down. SSG needs this overshield. Oh. I think it's going to be an Optic overshield for Trippy. What a grand finals this is. Trippy. Overshield. Heat wave. 
and Optic marching oh boy. towards yet another kill, killing spree, double kill, four dead for SSG. Stellar's your first spawner on Nest as well. Unbelievable plays here from Trippy. How many times do we see him with the heat wave? Gets oh. the nade as well, perfectly bounced off the tower, onto the C-Box, and he's not done yet. Three to zero in favor of Optic Gaming. One more hill, and this is game for Optic. SSG cannot break these setups, and it, it is electric in here. The Optic fans are making all sorts of noise. SSG have got control of the overshield side of the map, and we always talk about this being the easiest of the hills to lock down. Plenty of time left in this game as well for SSG, but I've got to be honest, they got to be reeling a bit here, Andy. They have been taken apart at the start of this game. They really have. Three minutes left, as you say, a lot of time. But at three to zero, what kind of comeback would you need from the SSG side? I don't even know if it's possible. Two dead for both sides. 2v2 at the moment. 26 seconds till the overshield comes up. SSG need this. If they don't get it, it's game over. And they will have to head to another map here with their tournament lives on the line. Optic one game away potentially from being called your champions. Trippy trying to survive for now. Spins back around and snaps on the Penguin. Last alive though, SSG inside of that hill as Eco finds two. Big play as your last alive. However, he will be taken down in the end as the overshield is popping. And what a comeback this could be as they're about to score two. 43 still left on the clock and the overshield in hand. Stellar's gonna angle himself away to use this overshield for the next push Optic, as well. Optic giving this up. You can see Optic will say, hey, you can have this one hill. We'll try and play for the next. But this overshield in Stellar might be a game changer here. Lucid on the tower. Bound found two, by the way. He took Lucid down from that tower. Four dead for Optic and SSG. SSG are showing some life here. Down, but not out. Still 243 left on the clock. 25% of the way done here on your fifth hill as well. Let's get into a listen in with Space Station. One on one. Okay. He cuts one shot. No, two two hitter, two hitter. Okay, I got my green. Yeah, sniper green, sniper green. Four. Okay, There's a one four. There's a one four. Nate can drop. Sniper green, sniper green. Hold tower. Absolute hill, absolute hill. Dude, we're showing him. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on, come He's on your jump up. Two on your jump. Yeah, two oh, top tower. Two, look at top AM, look at top AM. Two, I'm in front of you. You guys see me? You guys see me? Yeah, in front of you. No, no, no. Top A, top A. Top A, top A. Top A has two shots. Top A has two shots. Look, look, look. Can't, I can't, I can't. Absolutely. I'm in A. A and tower. That's on red. That's on red. That's on Tower somewhere. Get door, get door. 3-2 and Space Station are back into this, Andy. Optic Gaming. They've got more questions to answer here. SSG would not let this one go. SSG finished those two hills in three seconds of elapsed game time. It was 2.43 on the clock when they started them. It was 2.40 when they ended them. An unbelievable run here. Now it's just one hill between them with 2.32 left on the clock. Difficulty here for SSG. They can only let one hill. Oh, excuse me, they cannot let one more hill slip away. Optic already 35% or so of the way to capturing this hill. The overshield's going to be a factor as well. The shroud could be a problem. Stella. Flying through, gets two, breaks open this hill from Optic. What happens here with this overshield? Trippy's the only one on it. He's your last player alive, though. Any shots coming in? Trippy's gonna pop it as last player alive, but SSG melt him. Overshield melted off, but the biggest thing there for Trippy was, first of all, the overshield. He makes sure that they do not get it on the SSG side. It's an enormous play, and then even somehow on top of that, stays alive as well. Here's the push. Now on the flank, Stella no shields. Penguin gets a kill, though. Penguin gets two, Trippy moves in. It's a 3v2 here, Estella flies back out, Trippy down, loose it down as well, it's four dead for Optic! Unbelievable, 219 left, so much time on the clock. SSG is poised to tie this game up. Bell gets the kill. SSG stand tall. Trippy explodes, a killing spree for Stella. APG's forced back here. Look at this push from Lucid and APG. That's it, tied three to three. Unbelievable consecutive hills coming in for Space Station. We are tied up here in your fourth game. This game will take your breath away. Trippy now with a sniper rifle top middle. Two minutes left in this game. Next hill wins though.
This is unbelievable. 154 left, tied 3-3. Three three. Sudden death here. As you say, this next hill will decide it. And Optic Gaming thought they had this one done. Trippy was last alive again there as well. SSG have a complete setup around the tower. The only thing that can break it is a headshot oh. from Trippy. Stella falls. Penguin challenges. Trippy has just broken the setup. Three dead here for Space Station. Stellar is your last player alive. He's gonna wait for his teammates here. Look at this overshield coming up in 12 seconds. SSG investing heavily on getting this overshield. But Lucid, oh he's my got a God. heat wave. And if he has the timing on Penguin, they might be able to steal this away. Optic Gaming, they're not done yet. They get the overshield, bound inside of the hill, but three Optic players flying at him. They're gonna flood him here. They're gonna find him back tower. He's trying to hide top tower. It's not gonna be easy. They have at least two guns on him right now. Formal takes down bound right away. 130 left here. Still a lot of overshield for Trippy. Optic going to a lead on this hill. Green gun doesn't connect. That could be the difference maker. No connection on the green gun. Trippy with the overshield forces SSG off the platform and stands strong in the hill. He still has overshield. He still has the overshield and finally dissipates. Penguin has to make a play. Cannot do it. Wow. What a game of Halo Infinite. Optic Gaming come out on top. Trippy the game changer again. And has that taken the wind out of SSG? You have to think it might. The Optic banner is flying high. The Optic members riding high off of that win. And another thing you have to admire, despite the win, look at Formal right away. Just issuing out orders, breaking down the gameplay right away. Saying, certainly saying something along the lines of that should not have been as close as it was. In the end, though, it will be Optic Gaming taking the game 4-3 to three after leading by a huge margin. At the start of this game, SSG were being taken apart one by one, body by body. As Optic Gaming went up by two, Trippy, overshield in hand, just cleaning up kill after kill after kill bottom middle. And it's not like it was two hills, Andy. It became three almost instantaneously. But it was that quick, it was that efficient. The SSG at least had time to get back into it. It's true. That might have been what almost cost Optic Gaming was just how fast being too good. <laughs> too good and leaving too much time on the clock for the SSG comeback. One of the best King of the Hill live fires we've ever seen on the main stage and without a doubt in a grand final as well. This is it though. This is why you call him Big Game Trip. Hits the headshot on Stella. Hits the body beat down, two dead. And then SSG fully invest in winning that overshield fight. If Stella hits that green gun, maybe things are different. But we will never know as Optic secure that final tower hill. Optic Gaming one map away from being your champions once again. Just ahead at the Halo World Championships as well. Aquarius Slayer. We take ourselves back, first to 50. You get the feeling there might be a bit more Halo in this. You really do. We're getting right in underway right away. Optic Gaming is one game away from closing out your grand final. Space Station Gaming with their tournament life on the line. And Aquarius Slayer, here we go. One to one off the break yet. Should we get chased down? Eco should win this fight and does so. I think what's very important here for both sides is just to try and keep it calm. Not get carried away with the situation. There's so much adrenaline flowing through these players at the moment. But it's SSG who have Optic Gaming three dead. Six to two the score at the moment, and all of Optic trapped on a squad spawn. What an opening here for Space Station. Now, how important was it as well to have an opening like this up by, of course. Oh, 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 oh. He, no, 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 he almost does it again. In the end though, somehow still has taken down regardless though it's three dead. Lucid is your last player alive. The game is now nine to four. Space Station with a very strong opening here in your game number five. Lucid had to stay alive and win that fight.
Otherwise, that would have been a fresh four dead. Everyone from Optic spawning together and SSG with total and utter map control. Nade starting to rain in on the pink side. As Optic look to adjust their setup, but there's bound again with that first pick. He's so good at getting those first kills in these 4v4 situations. Trying to bait and switch is SSG. Lucid knows the pressure's coming in right away. Doesn't trade. 13 to 4, by the way. QT in the hand of bound. APG's gonna find that out. Oh, 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 didn't even have time to press the button to get back out of there. Pretty sure it expired just as he got to the closet, so wasn't able to port back. That's now Optic for the first time. Have SSG a little bit trapped in the base. Shocks go in, Penguin gets a kill. Two dead though for SSG. Optic, starting to find a way back into this, a double. Lucid fancies making this a triple, wow. but there's APG as Lucid gives him the wiggles. Leave it to APG. This game almost got out of hand. It was a seven kill difference. SSG leading now just like that. Optic Gaming keeps it within four. <laughs> oh, Penguin gets taken down as well in the 1v1. 16 to 11, but the trades come in. Trippy laughs alive once more. Well, that's almost like a, a terrifying sentence to say at this point with what Trippy's been able to do as the last player alive. Especially in Slayers. Unbelievable what he's been able to put together, and he's going to need that as they already trail by six in this game. Nico forced to retreat off the top of pink. You can see the multiple nades are flying in at him. But Formal now trapped on his own. APG, he's trying to peek and prod in this split. APG now last alive, trying to just survive to escape. The spawns do come in near him, but here's a flank from Eco. APG has no idea where Eco went. Two players, no shields, but Eco can't finish either. Lucy comes in, Bound gets one. And Eco still alive in this situation. And just like that, it's 23 to 12. They might even get this last one on a formal as well. Bound does push for it to go 24 to 12 in a game that was just a four kill difference. Let's get into a listen in with Space Station. So, watch out the door, out the door, out the door. It's car one, one shot. And car two, one shot, car one, and one shot, and car two. Car one, car one. Look at him, look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I backed up, I backed up, I backed up. Push your doors in, push your doors in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in my closet. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Yo, we can do one. Your window, your window to bridge. Bridge now, one shot. Bridge, one shot. Get your troops here, it's bound. Yeah, people on me. I have your shots. Yeah, throw some axe, throw some axe. I'm going back to the two guys. I'm going back to the two. Dorse is down, all my axe. Dorse is down, all my axe. I have it, I have it, I have it. Okay, okay. Let's go back to the car. Let's go back to the car. I'm looking at P1, I'm looking at P1. Yo, blue flag. Right side, 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 blue flag. Are you shot, shoot, one shot. Uh, that's front base, front base on you. Can we get out of front base. Front base. Front base. Maybe on me. P2, 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 P2. Mushroom. Blood, blood, blood. I got him. I got him. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Yeah, he's in there. They ran, they ran, they ran. 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 They we got the door, we got the door. Trippy. Car 3, car 3, APG. Two yellow, two car 3 in your vent. Yellow vent. Front yellow, front yellow, watch out. Watch out, P. I got one, another one in the closet. Three down. As we jump back in, you wouldn't have thought that SSG had just lost the last game in the way that they did because they are dominating. They are up by such a margin in this game that surely they can't throw this away. This has got unbelievable. Don't forget, this game was 14 to 10. It's now 40 to 17. Just a formality at this point. SSG finding fire once again. Stella with the heat wave finds one. He'll turn that into a double. He's got the last two in front of him, but just doesn't have the shields to cause problems. Bound flies in now. And I've seen this story before. Eco goes in for the trades. Four to go here. Double kill for Eco. This is a 30 to 10 run for SSG. 30 to 10 in the last few moments of gameplay as it's 47-21. Stella, by the way. Here it is. Might be in a position to go on quite the spree. If he can find one more kill. Eco steals it away. 49. Will it be able to get it? It's a spectacular. Now let me tell you, whoever writes this script, give that person a race. Well done. Well done. 50 to 23. 
is your final score in Aquarius Slayer, which is unbelievable from the SSG side. What a way to bounce back. Seller, by the way, one kill away from the Kelly Frenzy at the end of the game. That's what Onset and I were getting excited about. He had three <laughs> stripped away in the late game, but you know, that's, one, that's not what Seller and team are thinking about. They're thinking about putting more games on the board. And just like that, they do that. They not only stay alive, but they stake Optic Gaming in game five. Is that an overkill stolen? Is that a killing frenzy stolen? I don't think we'll care if he lifts a trophy at the end of the day. Highlights are going to be very one-sided though, Andy. It was all SSG. And I gotta say, I think Lucid is going to be sick and tired of seeing Eco on the pink side when he's got plasma grenades. I think he got stuck two or three times. I don't think anybody had this one on their bingo card. A result like that this late in a grand finals reset just tells you that SSG is playing a different level when it came to that Aquarius Slayer. And digging real deep when they needed it to stay alive in the series, in the tournament, keeping their grand finals reset hopes alive. Look at this series layout, it's a beautiful thing. It's been an unbelievable and an unforgettable night of competitive Halo. Only two games left in this series, potentially only one if it's Optic. Streets on ball up next. Space Station dominated the oddball last time. We saw these two teams match up on live fire. If they can do it here, Andy, we go the distance. The reset. Game seven on the horizon, but Optic will also know that if they win this game, they will still be your champs. Oddball Streets, both teams with a winning record, of course, how fitting. It's a tough one to call at this stage. Optic Gaming still only one game away from closing out your Grand Finals. Space Station one game away from sending us to a Grand Finals reset, Game 7. So I might have a reset here by the looks of things, Looks so like we'll get back into it. Although, of course, SSG are just going to play to the clock, understandably so. We'll get confirmation in just a few moments of exactly what is going on, but it does give us a moment just to breathe here. We, once again, await confirmation of exactly what's going on. Optic not moving. SSG doing what they should do. There we go. We get it. We get it. A little bit of a false start there in your game number six. Just to build the tension a bit more. Get right back into that game right away. But now, three to two in favor of Optic Gaming. And how deep will Space Station dig? After the 50 to 23 win in Slayer, you have to think their momentum, their emotions could not be higher. It's, it's crazy though, right? I mean, I think momentum, emotion, whatever, I, I can't judge it anymore. You look at Optic, they close out the close King of the Hill, uh, King of the Hill, excuse me, live fire after losing the three back-to-back -back hills, yeah. but they clutch up and they win it. And then they get smacked in the next one. After you probably say going into the game, the space station, like, how did we not close this out? You know, we made such right. a great run and wild series, wild, wild series. And I think all you can really do if you're watching this right now is just sit back and enjoy it. That's it. I mean, how about a, such a story of resilience from both sides for Optus to get 4 0 earlier, just in case you're just joining us, 4 0 earlier by space station to reset the grand finals. Taking a look at oddball stats all up from this HCS Fort Worth weekend on your screen. That's going to tell us anything is that we might be going to a game seven, everybody. Space Station still unbeaten on all oddball game types here in Fort Worth. <laughs> Look how efficient as well. Water, do you? And only a 1.12 KD, whereas US Optic, right, three and two with a 1.1 KD. So once again, that just speaks to the objective efficiency we talked about with Space Station. You gotta respect how they don't get extra kills they don't need. That shows in their objective gameplay. And they're gonna be looking to do that exact same thing here in game number six. Man on your screen here, formal. Once again, the player that a lot of the Optic Gaming fans at home will be looking to, to have a game. One of those games that formal has in these situations. I don't think there's anyone on that main stage with more big game experience than formal. These type moments are where you become a great. And that's exactly what formal is. Hard to think of anyone across competitive FPS that has the type of experience that he has in terms of still active players. They're gonna be looking to him yet again. 
On the other side, though, can Space Station repeat? After a historic steak dinner on a Slayer, they're going to look to continue the dominance on Oddball Streets. Series is 3-2 to two in favor of Optic Gaming. They have a chance to close it here. SSG, though, they're ready for even more Halo. All right, then, full work. Let's get this one going. One game here for Optic Gaming to close it out. SSG, one game away from sending this to a Game 7. It's bound on your screen. And early on, you're going to see he's on a cheeky little flank. 2v2 here on the map. Let's see where this goes. Rocket's still up. They were not grabbed by Stellar there. Four dead here. Optic Gaming will get the double kills they need there, and also the Rockets as well. Ball control on their hand. Two to play with here as well. Four dead with no Rockets used to get into that situation. So Formal should be able to hold down this Arcade Street pretty comfortably. One player did sneak through momentarily. Found not going to be able to do so himself. Wow. Penguin does stay alive there. You can see Formal was kind of a little bit split on how he wanted to play it, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be four dead here for SSG. A double kill for Formal and full time here for Trippy. Four dead yet again. Back to back four dead means perfect rocket usage as well as a 30 point lead here for Optic Gaming in your round number one. It does just get picked off though. Not only is that a pick that's effective for breaking the setup, but also takes the Stalker Rifle out of the hands of Optic Gaming now. So Formal. Gonna have to do a little bit of cleanup work here. However, he's getting fried in the back. That Sentinel beam hits so, so hard. But it's again Optic Gaming who seem to be winning this fight, and they might be able to pick up more ball time here. Eco was the last player alive here. He actually wins the battle against Lucid, though. APG thought he might get a rotate. As a result, he actually has to throw the ball down front C. It was a two-man advantage for SSG, and they will get the ball for the first time off of that advantage. I think that APG was just trusting his teammates to get that kill. Yeah. And then make a decision back off the back of it. And then he was kind of like, well, what do I do? I'm going to throw this ball into the safest place. It doesn't turn out to be the safest place because the spawns come in from SSG that managed to give them a little bit of a setup momentarily. Found. Wow. Wow. Big challenge onto APG to win that one. It's a 2v2 and things just got scrappy. Man, APG picks up a huge double there and has such great opening damage on Bound, but Bound peaks those so well. Big kill from Formal. Reason being, those rockets are dropping. APG's fighting for them. Optic trying to scrap mid map. Penguin gets taken down. Stella has to fire the rocket off. But all while this is going down, this fight for the power weapons. The ball has been thrown out, and Optic still have that lead. Two dead, though. Space Station's still here with a two-man advantage. Rockets in hand, that's going to make it three. So now they have staggered spawns for Optic Gaming, and they have more points on the board here. Just like that, less than a 20-point game. Stella just took one shot there from the B-Rail, which allowed the Accelerator to be pressed on the Optic Gaming side down that pink street. They overflowed over with players on that side, too that flooded down for just a few seconds. And now you're seeing APG just being a nuisance. Trying to watch out for his teammates, shoot across for them as they do the same for him. 42-35, essentially a tied ball game here in their first round. It was too dead for SSG. Optic Gaming now with a man advantage once again. Staggered, staggered spawns will give them an opportunity to hold. Three dead. Bound mid-map though, he's got two. He's looking for Trippy as well. Lucy's trying to cut him off. Manages to do so ball just reset. to even the numbers up. Ball reset as well. Trade on that ball spawn. So Trippy's found a toy. Enemy has the ball. ball Stella trying to steal away with that offal there. You can see Ooh. the idea behind it. But unfortunately, it didn't account for Trippy being in that position. Lucid now trying to finish off. Bound as the last player alive, but Bound being such a nuisance. Respawn's coming in, but everyone's going to meet head on here on the big street. Yeah, essentially tied up here still. Right around the 40 kill mark. These are big kills that are coming down. Two dead here for SSG. Make it three. Eco last alive, respawning in the tram, and Trippy will now be able to bring that ball back towards the tower. More time here for Optic Gaming as they cross the 50 point mark. Ball drop. Rockets back on the map as well. Fred Seeker goes out. One thing to know where Eco is, one thing to outshoot him. Certainly is here. Where'd those rockets go is the question. Bound has them in his hand. 60 to 36 here. Optic Gaming continuing to score. All Bound is such a tough spot. He finds one. Yes. Can he survive? Eco there to keep him alive. They double back and try and challenge. The rockets are out now. And here comes the rotate. Penguin spawning at the tram. 
Gives the indication that that is the safe place to go, but there's Trippy. He will cut him down, and now you can see with the kills falling to Optic, the bounce got some decisions to make. Do I play ball? Do I go for kills? Well, he's kind of doing neither at the moment. You can tell he's just trying to do a little bit of both he's out here. Of there. He somehow gets around through tires, and now goes to PD, and they'll continue scoring. Bow just creating something I, out of nothing, threading the needle. I don't know how he just got away with that. But get away with it, he did. Bound, like you say, threading the needle through the carnage of Optic Gaming players just flying towards him. And off the back of it, you can see ball time starting to rack up now for SSG. Trippy with the red gun. Very good shots here from Trippy. That paves the way for this push here. It's two dead for SSG. It's gonna be three dead. It's gonna be four dead and Bound will be taken down as... Now you can see Seller highlighted by that Threat Seeker as well. And the three dead there in advantage, still an advantage as they kill spawn as a late, excuse me, kill bound as a late spawner. Less than 30 to go. Let's get into a listening with Optic Gaming. Watch out cuts, watch out cuts. Watch out, I got him. Yo, two go. guys purple, two guys purple. ATM, 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 I'm going on purple, I'm going on purple rockets. Keep looking, man. Yo, he's on here. What the fuck? Yeah, I have Push me, push me. Watch out purple, watch out purple. That's a bad man, that's a bad man. Hello? Go, go, go. What's coming up? Back at me, back at me. rockets, rockets. I have rockets, I have rockets. I have rockets, I have rockets. I have rockets. I'm fucking with the bed. It's going back to me. It was back to me. Optic Gaming, they only need six points, but Eco got the rockets. Form will last alive. And he might go down in a few seconds time as well. Optic flooding up the pig tree. They get those spawns, but can they contest the Opal? You thought it was going to be the Optic Gaming round, but at the last second, it's a back gate push. Their space station manages to get the trades and the kills they need to keep themselves alive. But look at Eco taking so much attention away. Bow needs to stay alive here. Luton gets him behind. He ninjas him. He ninjas him inside a PD. As you say in the kill feed, you hate to see it. This will mean continued scoring for SSG and continued control for their side as Optic Gaming now all four players up. Can they make one last push count? Oh my goodness, as if the series couldn't give you any more. Two players from Optic fly mid-map. Positioning from Eco so good, just using the head glitches available to him and just six points is all Optic need. The ball is down and the kills are starting to flow. Here comes the push from Optic. It could be the round winning one. They get that up ball. Lucid has it in his hands and Optic Get that round on the board and are one round away from being your champions. The whole time you had the feeling with Optic Gaming with 94 points on the board, they had at least two pushes left minimum. They were not going to mess up that chance. They get the round and they are now one round away from being your Fort Worth major champions. What a time for SSG to lose their first game of oddball at this tournament. But here comes APG. Rockets in his hands, clearing the way. 2v2 on the map at the moment, though form will change those numbers. Still 2v2 here. See what can happen from the L. Assist does come in there and formal manages to stay alive. No points on the board just yet in your opening 35 seconds. Eco versus Trippy. Featuring formal. There's the headshot coming in. APG grabs that ball once again, and there's the cover. There's the security blanket for APG to get back in the ties. Really good shots here for Formal as well. He did damage on Neons as well as Front Tram. That's going to buy them even more time. APG did get cut down though as he tried to jump up into the ties with that Opal. <laughs> and even for all the good stuff we're seeing from the POV of Formal right now, no real ball time. He has the ball. Ball Speaking of Formal, 19 and 13 right now. Leading the game in kills that it showed in that first round. Bound will clear out the police department. Now two dead for both sides. Ball not grabbed just yet. Bound will try to bring that back. Barely stays alive with that land sentinel beam hitting hard. Pressure coming from mid-map though. Grenades being bounced towards him. Bound gonna become another victim of Formal who sits at 21 and 13 in this game. Add another one to that collection, it's 22. Optic right now outslaying in the total game 65 to 49. However, that will not be the important category at the end of this. Optic Gaming takes the lead once again here in round number two. Ball drop. Formal has that Bulldog as well. It's a penguin versus a bulldog. Bulldog wins it. Formal connects. Optic Gaming with a slight lead in this round. But priority now for both teams is that rocket launcher popping in a few moments. Great pressure, great awareness from Formal. Killing spree almost gets away with the rockets and the tires as well. 2v2 on the map. 
Rocket's still down in laundry. Trippy will get the kill from the grave. Perhaps one rocket still left. Eco tries to fall in. Just an absolute mosh pit bottom middle. You can see that Eco wants to rotate in towards Tram, but Optic trying to cut him off. Stella now should be able to run in and take out Formal with this final rocket. He does exactly that. And finally, for Space Station, they get their preferred setup. They're inside a Tram, but then wow. Trippy. It has been such a tight game here. And not just this round, but the entire game so far. Two dead for Space Station. This will mean time on the board for Optic Gaming. And not only do we highlight the outslaying that Optic Gaming is doing at 73 to 57, but they have also limited Stellar to 11 and 19 in this game as well. This ball has ended up back of tower somehow. It looked initially like Space Station were trying to run that one into Tram, but had to change the plan as the kill started to flow for Optic. 37 to 14. Another kill for Formal. And maybe the shots are starting to get a bit shaky on the SSG side. Three dead. Bounce your last player. He's in trouble in laundry. Presumably this kill will at least be traded. It is. Still two dead for SSG. Still more points on the board here. Maybe even a rotate coming in. This double neon pushes dip dangerous for SSG. As they might see a PD arcade rotate coming in here for Optic Gaming. Arcade spawn as well. So they're going to be able to clear the way. And look at Formal. He's looking. Hey, is anyone left behind here? Can we move this into Tram? Challenge is here, Bounce. Do oh. not challenge when Formal is shooting like this. Too dead for Optic, though. Space Station does manage to get over to Arcade before that ball is completely traded, excuse me, rotated all the way down the driveway. Now it's 50 to 14 in favor of Optic Gaming. Space Station scoring once again and a minor man advantage for the moment. Rocket's coming up as well, so attention for Optic Gaming moves from the odd ball towards the Rockets. Lucy steps through. Gets away with them. Doesn't get any kills with them, though. Is that going to be something we look back to in the highlights? An opportunity for Lucid to grab two. Neither of the Rockets connect. Yes, he'll deny the Rocket grab for the SSG side, but it's costly because this game is just about tied as a result. Formal comes through and gets the trades. However, the Opal is still close to SSG. 2v2 on the map. Stalker here for Penguin. Trippy doesn't want to over-challenge this inside of ties because he knows the help is going to be arriving from both sides. So we now change the game of Oddball to a game of Slayer. Where does the opening break go? SSG with a big opportunity here. Has to narrowly avoid a teammate with those shots. Does very well to do so. Kills traded out here, 3v3. That ball could reset in just a few seconds time. And yes, indeed, there it does. Formal trying to clean up Penguin. Does it once again, Formal. One short of dropping 30. As Optic have the ball in their hands once more, and it's 8BG doing that darn dirty work. Beautiful prenates here from Trippy. Stays alive, prenates the L, continues to challenge in laundry. Look at how much damage he does as that ball comes back up tram stairs. 8BG with the ball in hand. Trippy and the rest of Optic tossed with keeping that man alive. Look at the shots here from Trippy. He feels them. Two dead here for Optic, but three dead for Space Station. And Formal in the meantime has said, this is cool. I'm out of here. Penguin's going to challenge him. But well, what about that route from Formal? It's a big, bold rotate, but actually here with PD spawns, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. More kills need to be on the board. It's three dead. Formal goes for a very big, bold rotate. In the end, though, due to the SSG spawns, it does not pay off. It will not be a home stretch run for Optic Gaming. They are now all four players up. Rockets popping right now. 26 points between Optic and a return to championship form. Lucid gets those rockets. Lucid survives with the rockets oh. for just a second. But now he's down. Four dead. Four dead for Optic. A triple kill for Eco. And SSG live. Does Eco know where the spawns are? Eco finds Formal first. This is so big. Oh no. It's a frenzy for Eco. 10 in a row for him. And he's just given SSG life. Just like that, 3v3 on the map. Space Station has brought this game back. It's essentially tied up here at the 70 mark. Lucy's trying to make the play. He gets stiffed now. He gets decimated. He gets shredded. Oh. Penguin, he gets another as well. And SSG tie the game up. And now they go into a lead. Trippy's the only player alive. He's all the way back in tires. Look at this baiting and switching coming in from SSG. They take the lead. Only 15 points to go. Stella's flying out as well. He wants the kills. But here comes the barrage of nades. And Penguin now 
Left on his own, he needs to get this ball out. Penguin presumably throws it trash. He's not going to throw a drive winner. He does. He throws the ball trash, but Optic Gaming is going to have the time to bring him back into tramp. Where are SSG? Eco gets one. Lucy's going to have to challenge him. Takes the shields away. Can he connect with a headshot? 77 points here for Optic. Whoever wins this fight probably wins this round. Trippy's out there. They're going to rotate. Trippy's going to try and rotate this ball away. Eco trying to cut it off the pass. Trippy will take him down on the way. Three dead for Optic. Losing last player alive. Doesn't get the beat down either. Bounce trying to escape. Eco's there to support him. The clock ticks down. A round three is on the horizon, surely here. SSG send us to a round three. Formal can't get there. 97, 98, 99, it's round three. Of course it's round three. I cannot believe it. Optic Gaming with a 30-point lead there throughout the entire mid-game. They throw it away. Space Station Gaming ends the game conclusively with a four dead and beautiful place. Look at the damage coming out of bounds. He flies out of tires to catch the Rocket player off guard. It's unbelievable. Round three here. Space Station trying to stay alive and fourth the game seven. A double kill for Eco with the rocks as well. You get the feeling this might turn into a triple kill pretty soon, but Formal shuts it down. Bulldog here for Stella. SSG, belief back. Three dead momentarily for Optic. Spawn's coming in on the arcade side, but ball in the hands of SSG. I'm at a loss for words Ooh. here. I think my heart is going to beat out of my chest. SSG, of course, as fate would have it, is the first on the board in round number three, 17 to zero. Eco right now dropping 38 I kills. Know. <laughs> I know. Ah. What a game of Halo this is. What a series this has been between the two. Formal, Shroud down, Eco, two to his name, Pink with another trippy on his own. And he's just come off for respawn, so it's more ball time here for SSG. Threat Seeker as well for Eco. If he uses this effectively, this could be disastrous. We could see 60 to zero here if this Threat Seeker hits well. He does get info on APG, but only APG. Trippy with a pick. And APG takes the attention away for just long enough for Opti to get across the map. Might be a forced play ball here. They throw it down mid map. Stella tries to help Penguin on this push. Penguin gets two. APG versus Stella. APG has to reload. APG, he's going to come back out, but Stella wins it. Up the gaming just off the pace there. They come in just frames apart on that push in cafe. It cost them. And just like that, it's 43 to 0 in favor of SSG. Still too dead for Optic. Not a point on the board for Optic here as Stella is starting just to do what Stella does. It's a scary time for Optic fans to see this. And a scary reminder that Stellar earlier was 10 and 19. He's now 26 and 29 with 16 assists. What a turnaround from Stellar in this game. Trippy has the Rockets. Trippy has fallen though, three dead for Optic. Lucy trying to pick him up. Penguin flies down middle map to try and scoop up that final boom boom. But look at the spawns, the cafe spawns coming for Optic. They're already up. And Penguin does have one rocket to play with. He knows about it. He's getting info here from Mount as well. So he's going to hold this angle on tires. 47 to 0, 330 left. 2v2 on the map at the moment. Oddball down. Ball reset. Ball Form will just try not to show here. But show he does. Penguin gets the kill. This is big. He might get a second as well. APG is going to be there to support Trippy. But Penguin chooses to look the right way. He gets that ball in his hands. Wow. SSG crossed the 50 point mark. It's perfect timing. It's a perfect push. It's a perfect flush of the cafe for Space Station Gaming. They're making it look way too easy. 55 to 0. Lucid somehow turns that fight on his head. Two dead for SSG. Penguin still with that odd ball. But Lucid takes him down. Bound! Oh my god. He slides in and he gets one. Formal! Oh, he had to win that boy, didn't he? He had to. Formal and Trippy are now going to try to stay alive and wait for teammates here. Eco's going to make the push. Eco just trying to survive for now. Nades exploding left, right. But his Spartan stands strong. Who needs shields when you're Eco? He makes oh. a play. He gets one. He throws that ball away wow. from Optic as well. But two are still dead for SSG. Very good spies here from Trippy to make sure he gets the ball all the way to Tram. 2v2 on the map. Optic Gaming finally scoring 
in your third round, but they trail 63 to 13. Lucy gets that pick on Estella. So SSG are gonna have to buy their time here. Rockets coming up in a few moments time. APG takes down Eco, who is doing everything he can in this game to drag SSG to a game seven. And here comes Bout. Long distance rockets connect as he's in the second one. He does! He blind rockets the ball! Trippy! Two dead for Optic! What a push! Enemy has the ball. Oh, ball grabbed. 64 points and rising. Lucid, three nades. The commando stairs and manages to get a little bit of damage done, but they're gonna have to once again rotate here, Optic. They need to be patient. Two players are gonna be challenging bound, but it's kind of holding off three almost single-handedly at the moment. Stella's there to pick up some of the damage. Eco should slide down and woof woof bark! The Bulldog does enough. 1v1. 1v1. Stellar versus, excuse me, Lucid versus Penguin here. Lucid knows he's here. But Penguin now knows where the rest of the Optic spawns are coming in, but Penguin gets a stick. Lucid. So at least trades to open the map up. Lucid does not grab that ball to keep it in tram. It's, it's going to prevent them from grabbing the ball here. With 157 left, Space Station is still leading by 47. Victory. Space Station getting scrappy. Look at this, they're really putting the pressure on to Optic now. Even though they're down numbers, they keep touching that obble. They keep the pressure on. Knowing that every second that goes past, they're closer to sending us to a game seven. Two deaths on both sides. Lucid will hold here. Well, they're gonna need more than one hold to get back in this game. And the time on the clock is now becoming a factor. 135 of game clock left Look as again. well. Again, SSG, they run out of the pink street this time. Two players from SSG are there. Eco's trying to close the door on them as they try and move forward, but SSG, just 11 points now. But Lucid continues to slay to try and keep Optic in this. What a kill it was from Stellar. However, Lucid eventually clears out Cafe and gets the Rockets here. SSG with 89. They only need one push, one hold to end the game. Enemy has the ball. Ball dropped. The Rockets are effective. But like you're saying, sometimes you're thinking we just need one push. But that push seems to take forever. Things start to fall apart knowing that it's one simple execution. And Optic have the ball in their hands and a full setup on the map. Here comes the Ego push. This spike could be disastrous. Look at the play killing Randy from Lucid. Cannot get burned on the second though. Three dead. Penguin, your last player alive for SSG. But look at the bottom of your screen. The score keeps ticking up for Optic. They cross 60 points. And that measly 11 points that SSG need, it seems an absolute mile away at this point. Two dead for SSG. They even it up here on a 2v2. There's one minute left here. SSG still at 89. Penguin lost alive. Lucid says, come into PD, it's nice and warm, it's comfortable. And it looks good to hold an oddball. This could not be closer. 13 points away from a tied game. Kill straight out, still a 2v2 on the map. 47 seconds left, here comes Bound, trying to move away with the ball. He does get info from the Threat Seeker. Only got half shields though, he's got to deal with Trippy. Doesn't get the trade, doesn't get the trade, and SSG are two dead. And look at the score at the bottom of your screen. Optic cross 80 points. Optic cross the score of SSG. Almost. One push left for SSG. Optic Gaming take the lead here at 91. They take the lead. The shroud is down. It's maybe the last roll of the dice here. 2v2 on the map. Optic with the lead. Trippy, no shields, has to survive, doesn't get the rockets, bound gets the rockets, Optic and four dead, four dead, four dead, that's gonna do it, that will be the round, that will be the game. It's a game seven of a bracket reset here in Fort Worth, Texas. SSG will not die. What?
What a game of Streets Oddball. You will not see anything closer than that. You will not see anything better than that. SSG in the final moments. So clutch after Optic did so much to bring it so close. I cannot believe the way that that game ended. Optic will outslay 156 to 151. In aggregate score across the three lap rounds, SSG will outscore 273 to 270. As you said, Mark, you could not ask for a better match between these. Kevin Eco Smith. 50 kills. For the captain of Space Station Gaming. When is the last time we saw a 50 bomb? on the main stage in the Halo Infinite. Have we ever seen a 50 bomb in a grand final in Halo Infinite? I dare say no. Despite getting outslayed, Space Station will come back in two consecutive rounds and reverse sweep the oddball game. And I gotta tell you, I almost passed out at the end of that game. An unbelievable run from SSG to force us to the place we all want it to be. A game number seven in a grand finals reset. The first ever in Halo Infinite. But a handful of teams throughout history have won a major championship via a bracket reset from that elimination bracket. Space Station want to add themselves to that name. They want to go back to back. Solitude is going to be the map. 50 kills to win. And I tell you what, if you're sat in this room right now, just take a second to remember what you're seeing because this is special. This doesn't happen very often. Killing Frenzy even for Lucid. Lucid ends the game 43 and 39 with 29 assists. He leaves the whole game in assists. But it's Eco, the man on your screen, who goes 50 and 37. I mean, this is the last push. This is the last push. Penguin flies through the shroud. Eco comes in, and then almost simultaneously, three players from Optic fall. Trippy thinks, I can get the Rockets, maybe I can make a miracle play, but no. Even in such a high pressure situation, Bound has the awareness to turn his attention towards that power weapon. Space Station will not die. Optic are giving it everything. But unfortunately, after this next map is done and dusted, one of them is going to have to take second place. We can only have one champion. What a serious layout before you, and how different it is from the first grand final that we saw. Space Station 4 0 -ing. Optic, it looking like it might have been a quick evening. It's been anything but. Both teams, as you see on screen, re-entering the stage for your seventh and final game of the reset, and your 11th total of the grand finals. Let's take a look at some of the stats. Wow. What a turnaround. Maps one and two, they're the KDs respectively for Stella and Eco. 0.56 for Stella, 0.74 for Eco. Maps three to six, they have taken over. And how about Stellar in the round one of Oddball, going 10 and 19, keeping that same 0.54 or so KD that he had the whole series. And in the next two rounds, steps up when his team needs it most, both Stellar and Eco, as you saw on your screen, and as you see now on your screen, doing what they need to get Space Station to a final <laughs> game seven. Man, what a series. This one will go down in history for sure. Space Station and Optic Gaming. And just a reminder to everyone, if you're watching Halo right now, maybe you're watching for the first time at home and you're thinking, does this always happen? Well, the Halo World Championships is just around the corner as well. That's the next major event that we've got in the calendar. But before we get there, we need to find a winner. Bound says this is his favorite map of all time, by the way. Plaza from H5. 
Could it pay off for the SSG side? A lot of H5 experience on both sides of the stage. Maybe a few more hours, though, if we're honest, on the SSG side. And as you say, already a historic grand final between these two. Well, this is what we're building towards. The Halo World Championships 2023, October 13th to 15th in Seattle. If you want to find out a little bit more about it, halo.gg forward slash halo WC 2023. We're going to be there. I hope everyone in this room is going to be there as well because you're going to see more of what we've seen in this grand final throughout these three days of action here in Fort Worth. The perfect, perfect apertif set up for what is going to be the biggest tournament of the year. It really is. And there's so many times when I've explained how a grand finals reset can work to fans. And tell people it can go <laughs> to a final game seven. It can go to a total of 14. Someone says, how often does it go to that second game seven? The answer is not very often, but tonight we will get a Grand Finals Reset Game 7. Fort Worth, I want everybody on their feet for this Game 7 of the Bracket Reset. Optic versus Space Station, they've given it their all. It's time for us to pay them back here with a little bit of noise. Here we go, game seven underway between Space Station and Optic Gaming, a historic grand finals and the final tournament before the Halo World Championship. Only one team can take it here in Fort Worth. Nothing complicated about this. It's all about kills and deaths. First of 50 will be crowned your champion. Lucid with some fantastic shots here with his battle rifle. Takes down Penguin. And Optic Gaming eke out a lead. Three dead here. Sellers your last player alive on the SSG side. They find him. That leads now to a 6-3 lead for Optic Gaming. And the sniper rifle in hand for Lucid. Game 7. Grand final shots hit harder than any. If you can hit ahead of this situation for Lucid. But the game has just started to slow down for a second. Lucid trying to take some cheeky angles up onto the posters. There's a QT available, but Bound can't pop it. Trippy will slice him down before he can take away that power weapon from Lucid. Bold play from Bound. Be down by three there at 6-3 and try to make that Hail Mary play. And I think the SSG side knows they only have so many of those before this game gets out of hand. And that's why you're seeing them slow it down yet again. 7-3 to three now. Off to gaming, still holding. Look at Formal 5-1 and one off the open. Optic Gaming holding strong, holding the line, and saying to SSG, it's up to you to come and take us a little bit deeper in this game. 7-3 still the score. Lucid still trying to find angles at the moment, but no one from SSG really showing for him. Optic Gaming's happy to play this game this exact way. Space Station knows they cannot risk. Continuing to let the score go 8-3, 9-3. That's why they're being so conservative in how they peek and show. The pressure on the shoulders of these players to hit shots in this game. You can't replicate it at home. It's just a different world. 7-3 the score. Time dwindling away. And I said first to 50. Well, let's just say when time expires, it's who has most kills. Here comes the double team. Seller is able to slide under the tag. They try to put two guns in the yard. Wow! What a shot from Lucid. That'll do for Optic. Eight to three, the score. Double push now coming in. He still manages to tag up Eco. But now he has to play his life. The rest of the Optic gaming crew arrive as SSG make their play. Bound in this 1v1. Oh, oh my, Lucid! Ten to three now, and what SSG feared, and what Optic would try to do, has played out perfectly for the Greenwall side. At ten to three, and a fresh sniper for Lucid. Let's get to a listen oh! in with Optic Gaming. Thrust snipe S4. Okay. Nice. Don't, 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 don't. Thrust snipe S4. Play for the snipe. 
Give me that shit. Don't, don't, don't get driveway. Don't get driveway. I'm gonna sniper tell. Thank you. Two, 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 Yo, they have sniper concrete. Sure, sniper concrete or something. You turn absolute. Yo, top top side, top side, concrete, concrete. Yo, you turn absolute. Down one, you turn absolute. You turn, you turn, you turn still. You turn still. Nice. Come back, man. Has sniper. Concrete, concrete. They might spawn cafe. They might spawn cafe. They spawn in cafe. They spawn in cafe. Stop yellow, guys. Stop yellow. Sell it. Two in yard. Two in yard, guys. Go. Get out. Get out of here. Get out of there. 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 One shot, one shot, come in. Look, 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 I mean, Optic Gaming, you can see it got a little bit frantic. The game pace just rocketed only one way. It went up. And I think it was because SSG realized they couldn't just afford to just sit there and let the likes of Form or Lucid play with this sniper rifle and look for angles. They had to try and up the pace and put them under pressure. On a map like this, you can't sit back. You're right. You can't wait for a rocket. You can't wait for a camel or an overshield. Solitude doesn't offer those. Instead, you need to find a way to get out of your base. But at the end of those pushes, it's still Optic with a seven kill lead, making an eight kill lead. Stella got the QT, so at least he can put some pressure on. And now Optic find themselves with APG informal. That's the last two momentary standing players. Bound picks up one, and all of a sudden, look at the score at the bottom of your screen. It was all Optic. But of course, SSG had something to say about this. As you say, what was a seven kill lead? Now just a five kill lead. And at 10 to three, I think everyone was thinking, this might just be the Optic show all the way through. SSG has found composure. They found a foothold here to keep the game within reason. Formal hits the body, but not the head. That means that Eco will survive for just a few more moments as we see the map kind of flip from what we saw at the start. Space Station now over at the snipe side, down by the truck. Formal controlling Tram alongside his two teammates. APG gets one onto Bound though. Lucid picks up another. But can SSG get these trades? The answer is no, and Eco left on his own. It's an extension of the lead for Optic Gaming as Formal cleans up the final pieces. A huge extension and four dead, and also will recycle that sniper rifle. That'll be coming up here shortly. 23 to 16, six minutes left. And it's already starting to get out of hand if you're on the SSG side of the stage. Oh! Sniper rifle popping, Stella has just got it. Stella needs to hit some shots here. This is their way back into this game, but look at Optic. Look at the pressure that Stella finds himself under. He can't connect. Formal can. 11 and 3 in a game 7 reset from Formal. Who else do you trust? The man on your screen. It's not done yet. Tag the Penguin. It's a 10 kill lead for Optic Gaming. Still too dead for SSG. 2v2 on the map. 28 to 18. Two shots left for Formal. SSG not able to make the most of that sniper that they got in their hands. But Optic, the game plan to put the pressure on, to push them back, was so, so strong. A killing spree for Formal. He's 12 and 3 in a game 7. 12 and 4 now as finally that run is stopped. Optic Gaming maintaining that lead. And as we said, against me. a team like SSG and also on a map like Solitude, the game can change very quickly, and Optic Gaming knows that. They've done so well to maintain that 10 kill margin. Here's APG bottom mid. APG does such a good job to stay alive in that situation. Trades elsewhere. Trades are fine for Optic. Stella now with the thrust. Takes on APG. He'll win that battle. The equipment certainly helps him out in that situation. And Optic, just for a second there, found themselves down numbers. And with a nine kill advantage. Someone needs to be careful. With a nine kill advantage, and deficit rather for Space Station, they already know. They need to slow the game now. They needed to slow the game down 10 kills ago. This is dangerous for them. Oh. Lucy picks up another one. Four dead. SSG on life support. QT popping up top middle, quantum translocate are going to be used here by Lucid. And now he can get a little bit frisky. He can overextend and maybe he can put Optic on the road to championship redemption. They even find that S1 push as well. Bound does get the kill though at S1. Lucid knows it's still there, he's going to fly right in. 
Ten to go for Optic. Make it nine, and now it is a case of surely starting the victory parade for Optic fans. Eight to go. Make it seven as Formal crosses 15 kills. 15 and five for Formal on your screen. He's still dealing the damage. Six kills to go for Optic Gaming. And how quick, how efficient they've been in the late game here on Solitude. Four to go for Optic. I've said it once, I'll say it again. When you need someone to perform, when you're under pressure, you need to turn the tides of a performance. You send in formal. 48 kills here. One to go for Optic Gaming. Lucid with a snipe. Eco peaks. The question is, who wants it for Optic? Of course it's Trippy! One of the greatest series we've seen. The bracket reset at game seven. But when it's all said and done, Optic, answer the questions and return to the top of the mountain. The green wall stands tall once more. Give it up for Optic Gaming, your champions here in Fort Worth.